Welcome to the fantasy audiobook. Hokage. Ninja Master, the village is on the verge of bankruptcy, I dug out the oil. Chapter 41. Source. What is the source? Jiraiya has been away from the village for many years, collecting materials from everywhere every day, writing novels, and being unrestrained. Where did he think about such issues? He was confused. Naruto rolled his eyes even more. This question is too deep. You haven't thought about it? Miu Feng asked. Jiraiya nodded. Miu Feng. HMPH, Konoha is really proud. When problems arise, she always blames others, but never thinks that she has any problems. May I ask you, what's wrong with Konoha? Jiraiya objected. Then I ask you why Mist Shinobi Village, Rock Shinobi Village and Cloud Shinobi Village didn't participate in you. Jiraiya, that's because they have no direct conflict of interest with you, and they are not directly oppressed by your Konoha. Jiraiya hurriedly explained. Our Konoha has always followed the policy of good neighborliness and friendship with the surrounding villages. Miu Feng sneered. Jiraiya, you are also a person who participated in the ninja war. Don't you think it's ridiculous to say that? Don't you Konoha start less wars? Jiraiya, but we have also been at peace for 13 years. Have you, Konoha, relaxed your pressure on San Shinobi village in the past 13 years? Miu Feng's momentum soared, and he stared at Jiraiya. Bewitched by you, Konoha, the military budget has been continuously reduced, and the task that should have been assigned to San Shinobi was assigned to you, Konoha. You Konoha didn't start a direct war against San Shinobi. You are waging economic war. You are using the invisible rope of the economy to strangle San Shinobi village's neck and keep tightening it. Isn't it right for San Shinobi village to launch a counterattack when San Shinobi village is unsustainable, the villagers are facing hunger, and the ninjas are unemployed? Or should we, San Shinobi village, just wait to die? No money San Shinobi village doesn't even have a few decent ninjas. If there is still a one tail and no one is interested in the desert wasteland, I am afraid that it will have been removed from the five great ninja villages. Jiraiya was forced to ask, with sweat on his forehead. He wanted to open his mouth but couldn't speak. He had heard these things too. It's just that he never thought about it that deeply. Konoha this large tree has bright, sunny leaves. Under the tree is a bottomless dark shadow. Naruto, full of self-confidence, began to talk. Uncle, we empathize with the suffering of San Shinobi. Because of this, we should work together to create a better future and stop creating more hatred. Miu Feng chuckled when he heard this. Our San Shinobi is suffering, how do you empathize with it? Naruto begins to tell about his tragic experience. My parents died because of the war. Stop. Miu Feng called to stop repeatedly. Grandma, there are too many dead parents in the ninja world. You are the most inspiring, right? Come here, Naruto came over. Miu Feng shot suddenly. The five fingers of his right hand flickered with lightning. Five fingers pressed on Naruto's stomach. Electric magnet style, electromagnetic seal. On Naruto's stomach, there is an additional power grid imprint on the five element seal. Naruto's stomach hurts. He found that he could no longer feel himself chakra. Nine Tails Kurama in his body found that there was an extra grid on the door of the seal itself. Spill yourself chakra is crushed when it hits the grid. Jiraiya. Hey, what are you doing? He panicked a little. Miu Feng. Don't be nervous. Didn't he say that he feels the same way for our San Shinobi? It's not enough to just talk about it. Yi Gui threw him on the construction site. He will work as the workers work, and he will do as the workers rest, rest. You just go and get a taste of San Shinobi life. Wait until you work in the 40 degree heat for a few days, and then you can talk about your feelings. Okay, let's go. Yi Gui twisted and lost Chakra Naruto and went out. Jiraiya didn't stop either. Miu Feng didn't want Naruto's life. Jiraiya was silent for a moment. Master Case Cage, I don't understand what you said. You can tell me your terms. I'll report back to Hokage and make a decision. Miu Feng nodded. Okay, I've already said the first one. The second article is the exchange of prisoners of war. The two sides exchange prisoners of war. Jiraiya, this one is fine. Article 3 can re-sign the covenant, but we need to sign an additional economic and trade treaty. Economic and trade treaty. Jiraiya wondered. Yes, an economic and trade treaty. Miu Feng stresses its importance. 
The biggest reason for the war between Konoha and San Shinobi this time is economic issues. In order to avoid this kind of situation from happening again, it is very necessary for us to conclude an economic and trade treaty to constrain the two sides in economic and trade matters. Jiraiya doesn't understand economics. He was never short of money either. Just think about it. Konoha's economy should be stronger than San Shinobi, even if it is signed, it should not be a big problem. Jiraiya, it should be fine. Don't rush to agree. Mu Feng took out the treaty text scroll and prepared it. Give it a little push. The scroll automatically flew to Jiraiya's hand. You can take it back to the village and study it carefully. Thank you, Case Cage Sama. There is one last item. Jiraiya held his breath. That is to redefine the content of the one country one village law. One country, one village is not a formal decree, but a custom gradually formed by ninjas from various countries following the example of Konoha since the village was established. That is, there is only one ninja village in a country. It is such an unwritten law established by convention. Jiraiya didn't know what Mu Feng wanted to do. Mu Feng handed over another scroll. This is what I modified, and you can take it back with you. Jiraiya is down to earth. This kind of government affairs, the treaty itself is not good, so just don't worry about it. He stuffed it into his arms. Okay, I'll give it to Hokage-sama. Mu Feng, by the way, tell Tsunade that San Shinobi and Konoha will get back together only if she agrees to these conditions. Jiraiya's expression froze. If you don't agree, then continue to maintain the state of war. Seeing Mu Fang's relaxed expression, Jiraiya immediately became angry. He lowered his voice and looked at Mu Feng with stern eyes. Master Case Cage, isn't it too much for you to talk lightly about war? Don't you think about the lives of Genin victims? They also have family and friends. Starting a war at will will only make them suffer. Mu Feng rolled his eyes. Are you Konoha a master of justice per capita, a moral high ground? In terms of war, Yukonahas are probably the ones who launch the most. It's also for the sake of those who own Genin. It is Yukonaha who did it yourself to exterminate the family because of suspicion. See if you're as dirty before you lecture others. What Mu Feng is talking about is the Uchiha clan extermination event. This is a big scandal in the ninja world. Jiraiya heard Mu Feng mentioning this. He was at a loss for words for a while, and couldn't find the right words to refute Mu Feng. Mu Feng continued to tease Jiraiya. I know that you Konohas are strong, you have a lot of blood successor Genkei families, and the little Sharingan, Uchiha is not worth mentioning. Maybe you guys are thinking of slaughtering a Uchiha to remind other ninja villages. When I became fierce, I even stabbed myself ruthlessly. Unfortunately I'm not afraid of San Shinobi village. San Shinobi is poor, but he is not afraid of death. His bones are strong. If we don't get fair, then we'll fight it out. Jiraiya lost her temper now. He sighed. Okay, Case Cage Sama, I will convey the exact meaning to Hokage. Jiraiya felt that she had never been so embarrassed before. Even in the most dangerous situations encountered in previous missions, there was no aggrieved feeling like being at a loss in front of Mu Feng. After the talk, he didn't want to stay any longer. Then please allow me to leave first. Mu Feng. Okay then. I'm going to get busy too. Jiraiya went out, but Yi Gui hadn't returned yet. He could only watch Mu Feng keep erecting the oil rig and wait for Yi Gui. The San Shinobi village oil field already has a scale of 1000 mu. San Shinobi are constantly looking for new oil fields. No matter whether oil is used as energy source or industrial raw material, the more the better. For other things, Mu Feng can wait. But once there is an oil field need, he will immediately come to take pictures of the equipment. Yi Gui came back after seeing off Naruto and picked Jiraiya into the car. Where is Naruto? Jiraiya asked. Yi Gui, he is working on the construction site with the children from our orphanage. I think there should be nothing wrong. Jiraiya is relieved. Dash 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 dash. Naruto, he is moving bricks at the construction site of the village with Zaluo, Shinshi, Yetu and other orphanage children. Really moving bricks. Half a person is as tall as a brick, and Ziluo lifts it up alone and walks away. Naruto was dumbfounded. Shinshi. Konoha Wangmao, why don't you do it? Yi Gui had already told them when he sent them over. Naruto came to work with them. Overhead is the fiery sun. 
The ground is hot underfoot. Not even the wind is cool. Naruto was sweating profusely. Difficulty breathing. Is this the village's punishment for you? Luo came back after moving. This is what we are doing for the village, why is it a punishment? Naruto stuck out his tongue. It's too hot. His appearance made the other friends laugh. Ha ha, we live like this every day. Naruto asked, but that can't work like this. Don't your parents care? Luo, we are all orphans here. Naruto was shocked. You are orphans too. Me too. Being an orphan brought everyone closer. Naruto guessed. Could it be that the village discriminates against you because you are orphans, so you are specially asked to do these things? Z Luo, how is that possible? We asked for this on our own initiative. Now that everyone in the village is working, we can't fall behind. Z Luo also talked about their previous encounters. In the past, the village rejected us orphans, and no one took care of us. It's like I couldn't even go to ninjutsu school because I don't know ninjutsu, so I can only practice taijutsu by myself. Others also described their previous encounters. Naruto just found out. Compared with them, I am really much luckier. In terms of state of mind, Z Luo, who has suffered the most injustice, is more sunny and passionate than him. I just rely on my own efforts to become an upright ninja. Violet and the children's faces shone brightly. Now with Lord K's cage, we have hope. We will definitely make it. Come on, everybody. Naruto worked with the orphanage children all afternoon. Back at the hotel he collapsed on the bed. Chakra is sealed. He survived entirely by physical strength. Jiraiya looked at him with a gloomy expression and asked him. What's wrong with you? Are you injured from work? Naruto sighed. Pervy sage, I find myself ordinary. Naruto found that the content of his words seemed unconvincing. Gritty, optimistic orphans set in San Shinobi village so ordinary. Violet is stronger than him. Also orphans, I can still go to school, live in a big house, and have no worries about food and clothing. Z Luo couldn't bear to go to school, lived in a dilapidated house, and had difficulty eating. His performance is no worse than him. Jiraiya finished listening to Naruto's description of the process. He encourages Naruto. Naruto, no matter what others say, you are yourself. You have to stick to your forbearance. People who possess the way of self-forbearance are unique. Naruto suddenly regained his energy. Well, I'm definitely going to be Hokage. Finished shouting. He fell asleep on the bed. Jiraiya smiles. He looked at the two scrolls in his hand with a solemn expression. The future of Konoha and San Shinobi village is on these two scrolls. There is no delay. There was rumbling and clanging construction noise outside the house. The entire San Shinobi village is in a construction frenzy. No matter what they end up building, Jiraiya just feels extraordinary from those tall, shiny and sturdy metal buildings. He found Ino Shikacho to discuss with the three overnight. The three also suggested that he rush back to the village immediately. Nara Shirju offered her own suggestion. Please tell Lord Hokage that you must pay close attention to it. San Shinobi Village is completely different from the previous San Shinobi Village under the leadership of Mu Fang. There are many things that even Nara Shikaku can't see clearly. I don't know about other things, but their fighting power is definitely beyond the previous. Okay, I know. I'll tell Tsunade. Then the three of you will stay together for a while. Jiraiya bid farewell to the three. Early the next morning. Naruto's electromagnetic seal also disappeared at some point. Jiraiya, Naruto, let's go back to the village now and report back. Naruto, yeah, responsible for receiving Yigwe and arranging a car to send them out of the desert. The two of them went all the way to Konoha without delay. The basement below the sandworm breeding base. Orochimaru and Yakushi Kabuto initially set up a research laboratory. The study room is brightly lit. Various transparent jars stand on the pedestal and are arranged in rows. The jars contain liquids of various colors. The liquid is soaked in large and small pieces of sandworm meat. Mu Feng sat on a chair in the research room. All kinds of wires are attached to the body. Orochimaru and Yakushi Kabuto looked at the screen showing Mu Feng's body data. The two exclaimed, muscle strength, cardiopulmonary function, Bone strength, nerve toughness and other physical qualities are at least a hundred times that of ordinary people. Orochimaru. Sir, you are the strongest ninja I have ever seen, you are simply perfect. 
No, Orochimaru, this body is not enough. Mu Feng pulled off the detection line on his body. This is just the limit of ordinary people. The second thing I asked you to do, Orochimaru, was to help me push my limits. The physical limit of ordinary people may be the extent to which Might Guy opens the eight inner gates of the eight inner gates and becomes Night Guy. This level can only almost kill Uchiha Madara. You know there is a stronger Otsutsuki clan than Uchiha Madara. The limit of ordinary people is not his end. He has to keep going. Orochimaru licked his tongue. He showed a wicked smile. Then, my lord, would you like to try my Heaven's Curse Seal? Let's see if the Curse Seal status will improve you. Heaven's Curse Seal. Mu Feng looked at Orochimaru. Orochimaru restrained his smile and bowed his head respectfully. Curse Seal, formerly known as, Sage Transformation. Orochimaru pursued the source of Chongo's power to find the Ryachi Cave of the White Snake Immortal, and then began to inject the magic chakra into others, using the consciousness of breaking away from the body as an opportunity for his future resurrection. It is a spell seal unique to Orochimaru. Although a person who has been marked with a curse can exert powerful power, but at the same time, it will also forcefully draw out the power infinitely, so it will have a strong erosion on the user, and it is a double-edged sword. Could it be that this lion majesty wants to take the opportunity to put a spell on me and gradually corrupt me? Orochimaru lowered his head, with long hair covering his face, unable to see his expression. But from the slight trembling of his shoulders, it can be seen that he is quite excited. Mu Feng chuckled. Being with Lion Majesty is really dangerous and exciting. Maybe when he will show his fangs and bite you. So should you try this dangerous experiment yourself? Mu Feng thought for a while. Decided to agree. He needs to break direction. Compared to the risk, he cares more about profit. What's more, if I can't even handle Orochimaru? Then how can you rule the roost in the ninja world? Okay then, Orochimaru, let me see your heavenly seal. I hope you don't disappoint me. Orochimaru looked up sharply. The golden pupils shining between the gaps in the long hair. My lord, please rest assured. I will never let you down. Those long, silky, forked snake tongues came out and passed over the mouth. Mu Feng unbuttoned his collar. Standing below Orochimaru's neck sticking out of his clothes like rubber. His head came to Mu Feng's shoulder. Watching Mu Feng strengthen his shoulders. His eyes were on fire. Seems like the most delicious food. Mouth Kakuzu drooling. Mu Feng, Orochimaru, don't make it so disgusting. Orochimaru quickly sucked the drool away with his tongue. Yes, my lord, so here I am. It will hurt a little, please be patient. Orochimaru opened his mouth revealing two bright fangs, and bit Mu Feng's shoulder hard. Mu Feng felt his shoulder being pierced by snake teeth. Some liquid is injected into his body along the hollow snake teeth. In an instant, the black three tadpole pattern of the curse of the sky appeared on Mu Feng's shoulder. Orochimaru retracted his head. My lord has finished. You can try to drive the curse seal. Mu Feng, how to drive? Orochimaru. Anger, the emotion of anger activates the mantra. Angry. Mu Feng closed his eyes. When you are angry, your breathing speeds up, your mind starts to heat up, your heart beats faster, and your blood pressure rises. This is the performance of the human body when it exerts stress. At the same time, the concentration of these hormones in the blood of the body will increase accordingly, such as, the blood concentration of epinephrine, thyroid hormone, norepinephrine, adrenocortical hormone, and adrenocorticotropic hormone will increase. At this time, the state of the body is like preparing for a battle, and the potential of the body has been fully utilized, including hearing and alertness have been greatly improved. It is indeed similar to the power of the curse seal of the sky to inspire people. Understanding that anger is a hormonal manifestation of the body, then controlling anger is simple. Mu Feng controls electromagnetic waves to send signals to the brain. The brain receives the signal. It gets angry. Adrenaline and thyroid hormones in the blood begin to rise. Mu Feng's breathing became heavy, his heart beat faster, and his face turned red. His expression also became grim. He opened his eyes sharply. The pupils of the eyes were bloodshot like a rainbow. He was outraged. Under the trigger of the anger hormone, the curse of the sky began to attack. Small black tadpoles swam out of the three tadpole lines one by one, and walked towards Mu Feng's whole body. Mu Feng felt as if a switch had been flipped on his shoulder. 
It's breathing. Instantly. The natural energy in the laboratory surged towards the curse mark. Natural energy poured into Mu Feng's body through the curse mark. Mu Feng felt that his strength was improving. Outside. Orochimaru and Yakushi Kabuto were surprised to find that the laboratory was shaking, and all the test tanks were shaking with it. The originally windless laboratory was inexplicably windy. An astonishing aura erupted from Mu Feng with his eyes closed. That breath forced the two of them back again and again. When did the cursed seal of the sky have such a vision? Both Orochimaru and Yakushi Kabuto were confused. Immediately afterwards, Orochimaru suddenly hugged his head and howled. His will hidden in the curse seal of the sky is being bombarded by lightning. The feeling of being struck by lightning that day was like striking on myself. Orochimaru felt unbearable pain. What? He screamed. Kneel down. Trembling. The tadpoles that were originally wandering away also returned to the original three tadpole marks as if they were frightened. Mu Feng's body was originally dark blue, but the white electric light turned into gold. The golden electric light shines on the three tadpole prints. The three black tadpole prints were slowly erased by the golden light. Orochimaru also let out a more horrific scream. The golden lightning all over Mu Feng faded away. The tadpole pattern on the shoulders of the curse of the sky disappeared completely. Orochimaru's pain finally disappeared. He stood up. The originally pale face became even paler. His face was covered with sweat. He looked at Mu Feng in astonishment. What exactly is going on? Has the curse seal of heaven failed? Mu Feng slowly opened his eyes. Orochimaru and Yakushi Kabuto discovered that the white part of his pupils had turned to gold. Those golden and black intertwined eyes are like gods, awe-inspiring. It's just that the golden color is fleeting. Gone in the blink of an eye. Orochimaru didn't bother to ask what was going on. He hurriedly apologized. My lord, I didn't expect the curse seal of the sky to fail. I will definitely find other ways to strengthen my lord. No no. Mu Feng comforted Orochimaru while reminiscing about the feeling of natural energy rushing in just now. You've helped me find my way. Orochimaru was curious. What direction? Sage transformation, of course. Or to be precise, use natural energy. Orochimaru. Sage transformation is just a ninja enhancement mod and doesn't work for long. No, Orochimaru may have secrets that you don't know about. Mu Feng thought about various situations of sage transformation in the ninja world. You step back first, let me think about it. In the laboratory, Mu Feng sat alone on a chair, watching the laboratory soaking in flesh and blood, thinking quietly. It stands to reason that to practice sage mode, it takes a long time to practice to absorb natural energy. But I can achieve it only because of the temptation of the curse seal of the sky. That fleeting feeling just now. It is sage mode. Although he has never seen it, he just has this feeling. That's sage mode itself. Why do only a few ninjas master sage mode? Why toads, snakes, katsuyu, these animals can master senjutsu but not humans? Isn't man the spirit of all things? The reason you want to say is longevity. It doesn't seem to have anything to do with longevity. Didn't Naruto master the fairy art at a young age? Then let's talk about the environment. There are various natural environments in the ninja world. It ranges from the high, sunny waters of Mount Myoboku to the dark and humid Ryachi Cave. Natural energy is everywhere. As an omnipotent ninja, it would be strange to practice only his own chakra and not the natural energy that can be found everywhere. Of course, natural energy is not as stable as its own chakra, so it is not impossible to control it. What is the reason? Mu Feng looked at the flesh and blood in the jar, and suddenly thought of Jiraiya. When Jiraiya sage transformation, the body will have toad characteristics. Orochimaru is similar. Could it be genes? A bold guess came to Mu Feng's mind. Could it be genetic contamination? In ancient times Otsutsuki Kegaya used the sacred tree to create an army of white zetsu. Later Otsutsuki Yuya and Otsutsuki Hamura sealed Otsutsuki Kegaya to save the people who were made white zetsu. But these people have been transformed by the sacred tree in the process, polluting the genes. So their offspring's physique is more inclined to refine chakra rather than use natural energy. As the time goes, this kind of gene polluted by the sacred tree has spread to every corner of the ninja world. People in the entire ninja world have formed a tradition of using chakra exclusively. 
and toads, snakes, katsuyu, their genes themselves are not polluted and have mastered the usage of natural energy since ancient times. Their fairy art tradition has been passed down like this. I am a person who has traveled through time. Their own genes are not polluted. Therefore, as soon as it is stimulated by the curse seal of the sky, the channel for absorbing natural energy is opened. The signs of toads in Jiraiya Sage transformation may be the dominant characteristics caused by the transformation of genes into toad genes. The more Mu Feng pondered, the more he felt that there seemed to be a lot of content to be discovered. Why is there a blood succession limit? Could it be that ninjutsu has changed the genetics? Could ninjutsu be a genetic lock in some sense? Scientifically speaking, maybe there is such a possibility. However, Orochimaru's will is too useless, and the Indo-Pacific garbage of the curse of the sky will be wiped out when it hits the lightning cells in his body, so that he can only maintain sage mode for a few seconds. Maybe find some time to visit Mount Myoboku, Ryachi Cave, Wetbone Forest or the legendary Senluo Cave. Finding the strengthening direction, Mu Feng was very excited. Go by yourself when you have time. The second thing came to light. Then it's time to think about the third thing. Maybe wait until Konkuro comes back and work on it. Mu Feng got up and left the laboratory. He's going to work overtime again. Dash 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 dash. Konoha, Hokage House. Hokage Tsunade and other high-level executives in the large conference room listened to Jiraiya's report. The various changes in San Shinobi village reported by Jiraiya did not attract the attention of the high-level people present. The strength of ninja village still depends on the support of powerful ninjas and ninja families. Konoha has a leading ninja school in the ninja world, which can continuously train ninjas and many powerful families, so there is nothing to be afraid of falling behind San Shinobi village. Jiraiya mentioned that Mu Feng proposed peace talks. The first one caused resentment at the top when Konoha was asked to make compensation. Big Hawk Shimura Danzo was the first to jump out. HMPH, Little San Shinobi Village is simply insane. They attacked us, Konoha, and dared to ask us for compensation. This is a humiliation to us Konoha. Master Hokage, go to war with them. I, Danzo, led Anbu to go out first. San Shinobi, who was about to be killed, knelt down and begged for mercy. Advisors Midokado Homura and Yudatane Kaharu are also hard to say at this time. Mu Feng's conditions are really embarrassing. Tsunade was wearing a Hokage hat, resting his head on his hands, thinking quietly. She is not a person with big breasts and no brains. Mu Feng's abnormal behavior made her worry. Why did the other party raise such a condition? Could it be that the gambler finally turned around and frantically? Not like it. He just became K's cage and became one of the five most powerful people in the ninja world. There's no need to risk your life to die fourth generation. Jiraiya, Tsunade, advisors, please don't underestimate San Shinobi today. They have changed too much. Shimura Danzo sneered. What's changed? Just rely on what you said to sell knives, cups and chopsticks. I think you were fooled by them. They are nothing but a pile of useless sand, no matter how hard they are tossed, nothing will come out. We have money and people in Konoha village, there is nothing to be afraid of them. Jiraiya hurriedly said. This is also the opinion of Nara Shuju and others, please consider carefully. Nara Luju was a talented military advisor to Mu Yitian back then. His opinion cannot be ignored. Shimura Danzo pulled back his smile and looked at Jiraiya darkly. Tsunade couldn't figure out what Mu Feng was trying to do by mentioning this. He wanted money, and it could be in another name. It is not impossible for Konoha to provide assistance to them. Under the bamboo hat, Tsunade's vermilion lips parted slightly. Okay, put this one aside for now. Didn't he have other conditions? Jiraiya, just keep talking. Exchange prisoners. Everyone has no opinion on this. Jiraiya took out two scrolls. Here are the economic and trade treaty and the one country one village law requested by Mu Feng. Please review them. In the economic and trade treaty, what kind of bilateral bilateral trade treaty, most favored nation treatment, customs union and other clauses are in the fog. All the ninjas present, accept tasks, manage villages, and deal with conflicts between villages. The economic and trade treaty that popped up out of nowhere is just beyond the scope. Tsunade read it carefully anyway. Others just looked at it for a few moments and then turned it off. 
If you don't understand it, it's better not to watch it. Tsunade rubbed his temples. Mu Feng is really weird. Everyone is a ninja why raise such a condition? I took a rough look. The main content is that if we trade with each other between Konoha and San Shinobi, we should treat each other equally, the tariffs should be equal, and we should not set up obstacles to prevent the flow of goods and commodity trade. What do you think, consultants? Young people like Tsunade look at the effort, not to mention old people like Shimura Danzo, Mitokato Homura and Yudetane Kaharu. Yudetane Kaharu. What good trade between us? Ninja Village does not always live by accepting tasks. Not workers, businessmen. Jiraiya reminded. Everyone, San Shinobi Village has been reformed. It no longer accepts tasks and puts ninjas into industrial production and commercial trade. Shimura Danzo showed a rare smile on half of his old face. He sneered. Ha ha, I think San Shinobi Village is already abolished. Fungying Mu Feng has succumbed under the economic pressure, they have given up Ninja Road and become lowly businessmen. How can a ninja without ninja be an opponent of our Konoha Shinobi? Train ninjas, accept tasks, earn commissions and train ninjas. This is the method of the ancestors of Ninja Village, which is not easy to bear through the ages, and it is engraved into their ideological seal. All other ways of life are crooked. Mitokato Homura and Yudetane Kaharu rarely agree with Shimura Danzo. San Shinobi seems to have given up on himself. No wonder they're asking for compensation, I think it's because they're struggling financially. If Mu Feng is willing to bow his head, it is not impossible to give appropriate assistance. In the eyes of these old antiques, Mu Feng's reform has become a self-defeating act of abandoning tolerance for money. Jiraiya hurriedly said, Everyone, San Shinobi Village is not giving up on themselves. They. Shimura Danzo. Enough, Jiraiya, you've said enough for your opponent. Shimura Danzo is not happy with Jiraiya's weak behavior. There's nothing scary about little San Shinobi. Tsunade defended Jiraiya and snapped. Danzo is enough, we are discussing Mu Feng conditions now, not attacking each other. Hokage authority cannot be challenged. Zichung Danzo can only shut up no matter how upset he is. Mitokato Homura. I don't think it's a problem. We didn't sell them anything, and they didn't sell us anything. Yudetane Kaharu. They may want to sell us some pots and pans, but if they are of good quality, it's okay. What can San Shinobi Village have to offer? Is it sand? All the high-level people here laughed out loud. Then the third, economic and trade treaty, was adopted. The fourth and last, one country one village law, made everyone suspicious. The law is much simpler than the economic and trade treaty. There are only three items. Article 1 reiterates the principle that a country can only have one ninja village. Everyone agrees. It used to be a convention, but now it doesn't matter if it is written in a decree. The second is that all ninjas in the country must accept the management of the country's ninja village. If there is a crime, it will be dealt with by the village. The seriousness of the case requires joint trial between the village and the village where the ninja belongs. Diplomats enjoy immunity. This is as if it was not said. Shinobi ninjas are not daimyo law enforcers, guards and army. They will only accept tasks and do things according to the task requirements. The largest scope of management is your own village. For example, Konoha village is not interested in other ninjas in the land of fire, as long as you don't mess with Konoha, you can come and go as you please. If you dare to make trouble in Konoha village, Konoha will of course deal with you. As for the serious cases, they were directly buried in the soil. Tsunade wondered, what exactly is this trying to do? Yudetane Kaharu. As long as they are in the country, they will be under his management. Then, will we have to notify him in advance when Anbu goes to work in the country of wind? Mitokato Homura thought for a moment. It seems to mean that. Ha ha ha, Shimura Danzo's bandages were about to burst from his laugh. It's just ridiculous. Even if he agrees, does he have the ability? I think he's just using these fake heads to put gold on his face. Ninjas are no ordinary people. Ninjas have ninjutsu and can come and go freely. And with so many ninjas, how many people can you manage? Seemingly very imposing terms. In fact, it is not feasible at all. Tsunade can only think that Mu Feng is joking. Next is Article 3. A country's state affairs, other countries must not intervene. A few people, you look at me, and I look at you. 
Tsunade frowned. This article by Mu Fang is talking about the big name. Who is managing the state affairs of a country? The name of the country, of course. Tsunade wondered. Could it be that Mu Fang still intends to meddle in Daimyo's state affairs? In a word, Tsunade saw Mu Fang's intention. That is to rule out the daimyo of the country of the wind and use other ninja villages to deal with San Shinobi village. Or the other way around. Doesn't the reverse mean that San Shinobi village wants to prevent other villages from helping daimyo of the land of winds? Tsunade realizes this. She was lost in thought. What kind of person is Mu Fang? Ambitious people or stupid people who give up on themselves. This Mu Fang is really a headache. Tsunade rubbed his temples again. Let's talk about it, do you want to promise him? There is no problem with the one country one village law, you can sign a contract with him. Surprisingly, the first to speak was Shimura Danzo who had always looked down on Mu Fang. Shimura Danzo is a hawk. In my heart, I still agree with the, one country one village law, written by Mu Fang. Ninja village should be strong. How can you be weak and weak? Yudatain Kaharu said with a smile. In fact, even if the contract is signed, it is only a matter between our two villages, and other villages will not obey it. In fact, even if the contract is signed, it is a piece of waste paper. Ninjas from other villages can still come and go freely, but they don't care about the documents signed by your two villages. If only Mu Fang could convene the Five Shadows Conference. It might be possible for the Five Shadows to jointly approve this document. Now, Konoha and San Shinobi can only entertain themselves. Mitokato Homura agrees. Actually, it's just a nice way of saying it. I think it's the Keisuke sama who wants to gain prestige, so he deliberately made these treaties that look huge but are completely useless. Tsunade. So everyone has objections except for the first one, and there are no other opinions. Mitokato Homura and Yudatane Kaharu spoke separately. Yes, there is no objection. Fungying wants to do it, let him do it. Shimura Danzo is upholding his usual hawkish style. Disdain for San Shinobi, disdain for Mu Fang. What kind of treaty is just waste paper, a child's toy? If Case Cage has any intentions, I will kill him. This caused Tsunade to be dissatisfied. Danzo, pay attention to your words and deeds. It is a critical period for peace talks. I don't want to hear your remarks that are not conducive to peace. Humph. Shimura Danzo snorted softly and looked away. As Hokage, Tsunade made his own decisions. First, I will personally talk to Fungying, we may use other better ways to solve it. The other three items are fine, then formal peace talks can begin. I will invite Fungying Mu Fang to Konoha for peace talks. Everyone, please do a good job of reception and preparation. Everyone responded together. Hi, Tsunade. Others step down, Jiraiya stays. After a while, Tsunade and Jiraiya were alone in the conference room. Tsunade, Jiraiya, according to your observation, what kind of person is Mu Fang? I need to know more about this person before the meeting. With no one else, Jiraiya relaxed too. He sat down on the conference table. Hey, I can't see through him. I don't understand what he's doing. But generally speaking, he shouldn't be a bad person. After all, Leaders who can think about feeding the villagers first should not be too bad. Jiraiya thinks it's not bad, so Tsunade is also a little relieved. Then there should be some drama in the peace talks. Jiraiya, the village is going through a difficult time right now, and I need your help. Don't worry, I will help you look after the village. Jiraiya stood up. After eating sand in San Shinobi village, I should also take a comfortable bath, drink a glass of wine, and relax. Tsunade, do you want to come together? Respond to his one word. Roll, and an iron fist. Jiraiya came out with a big bag on her head and made Naruto laugh. You stop for me. Naruto bounced and ran. The two chased each other out of the Hokage building. Tsunade told his secretary Shizune, let Kakashi do the task of inviting Case Cage. Yes, Shizune wrote down the mission statement. Kakashi was ordered to go to the Land of Wind to invite Case Cage Mu Fang. With Jiraiya, Naruto's experience, Kakashi is smart to find the truck that delivers the goods in San Shinobi village first. After explaining his intentions, Sheng Ren, who delivered the goods, agreed to take him back to the village. This car dealer is a middle-aged and honest San Shinobi Chunin. Mr. Kakashi, I'm really sorry. 
There is no spare space in the car, so I have to squeeze you in the car. Kakashi. It's okay, I'm a ninja, I can take it. He didn't regret it until he got in the car. It turned out that this was a truck transporting live sheep. The stench of hundreds of sheep almost made him faint. He simply chose to jump on the roof and sit. He also saw that the car chose to levitate after entering the desert. Kakashi stroked his chin. Really interesting technology. It seems a bit like Mu Fang's levitation flight. Kakashi chatted with this ninja named Susha when he was resting at night. How did your car levitate? Husha smiled innocently. I don't know, anyway, Mr. Mu Feng made it, we can use it according to the instruction manual. The quality of this car is very good and it has never been broken. As long as Mu Feng has raw materials and chakra, he can create the required machinery and equipment. What he has to do is to quickly improve the strength of San Shinobi Village. Create it first, as long as you know how to use it. As for the popularization of scientific principles, Mu Feng didn't have time to do it either. At most, it is to add some subjects to the ninja school. Now that San Shinobi Village has registered ninjas, Mu Feng doesn't expect them to learn scientific principles. Kakashi was no surprise. He thought it was a big secret. This is not the case. Husha smiled and said, Are you interested in this car? Kakashi nodded. Husha. Master Fungying said that we will develop the automobile industry in the future. If you have money, you can come to our village and buy one. Kakashi froze. Is this for sale? Of course, besides this, Kei's Cage Sama is also preparing to sell ninja tools. Husha mentioned a famous quote from Mu Feng along the way. At San Shinobi Village in the future, you can buy anything with your money. Kakashi was deeply shocked. So bold. Come see for yourself what you can buy. By the way, why are you transporting so many sheep? Of course I eat, what else can I do? Kakashi was taken aback, and immediately scratched his head. Ha ha, yes, yes. Eat, dash 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 dash. Wind Shadow Office. Mu Feng is listening to the reports of the heads of various departments on the situation in the past month. The key point is the situation of the business ninja department. Tamari starts with income reporting. In the past month, we have sold a total of more than 3.6 million items in more than 30 cities in the Land of Winds, with a total sales volume of 3.48 million tails and a net profit of 2.16 million after deducting related expenses. 10,000 tails. With the Sandworm's unlimited blood supply, there is an inexhaustible energy source from the oil field. All that San Shinobi Village needs to do is feed the raw materials into the machine, produce the goods and immediately haul them away for sale. The only thing that can limit San Shinobi's ability to make money is the difficulty of transportation in the desert. Although there was an old ninja escorting the car to lead the way, the unpredictable terrain in the desert still caused us to lose a dozen vehicles and five personnel. Mu Feng thought, it would be great if there is satellite navigation. Mu Feng, Shang Ren has any suggestions for improvement? Tamari, we recommend using Earth-style ninjutsu to set up tall landmarks along the important road sections for navigation. It is the same method that Mu Feng used to mark the location of the oil field. Mu Feng. Okay, Gara, you call some ninjas from the ninja army to help. Gara. Yes, Master K's Cage, we are indeed very good at making money. But we are also very good at food consumption. Please pay attention to this, Lord K's Cage. Originally San Shinobi high-level Dingxi was sent by Mu Feng to be in charge of San Shinobi Village to manage food import and distribution. San Shinobi Village has been converted into a collective factory by Mu Feng. All housing is allocated uniformly. Everyone has a house to live in. There are endless steel bars and cement, and theoretically you can live in any size you want. However, everyone still lives in accordance with the unified distribution. Water electricity and even gas are free. Basic grains, meat, eggs, and milk are also distributed in quotas by the village. The salaries of the villagers of San Shinobi village sometimes have nothing to spend except drinking, buying some food, and clothing. Of course, this is also related to the unique terrain of San Shinobi village. Apart from the village, the villagers go out to the desert. So San Shinobi village thinks that working is more fun. Mu Feng is also planning to make some entertainment facilities in the future. But it's not available right now. Ding Shi. Just buying food from various places, 
such as cattle, sheep and poultry, costs as much as 1.9 million taels. San Shinobi village has to rush to work day and night, and the food and other material standards set by Mufang for everyone are quite high. Mufang, you can't spend less than a penny, and you can't let everyone have enough to eat after a hard day. Ding Shi, my lord, you misunderstood. I'm talking about food security. Food security, Mu Feng and the senior executives present frowned. To say what weakness San Shinobi Village currently has. The biggest weakness is that food cannot be self-sufficient. Mu Feng's high standards mean that 95% of San Shinobi Village's food needs to be purchased outside. Ding Shi, the staff we went to purchase in various cities reported that prices are starting to increase everywhere. Mu Feng, demand is strong, and price increases are normal. My lord, there is news that there are merchants in the back. They are planning to drive up prices. Ding Shi looked serious. Dare someone to make a fuss about San Shinobi village food. It's just looking for death. Zizizi. Mu Feng's eyes flashed with thunder. Gara, send intelligence detachments to various cities to check and find the mastermind behind the scenes. Gara said coldly, Yes. The ninja army is currently divided into the first and second divisions. Each team has five detachments. Each detachment has its own main focus. There are leading troops gathered by elites, mobile troops with secret operations, medical rescue troops, village guard troops, and intelligence troops. Whoever dares to tamper with the grain of San Shinobi village, I will never let him go. Even if it's a big name. Mu Feng's words were full of murderous intent. Long Sha, who was in charge of education, asked, my lord, the ninja school starts a new semester, will you give a speech? Mu Feng smiled. Well, set a time, I will go then. Yi Gui, my lord, news has come from Konoha. They are willing to negotiate peace and sent envoys to invite you. I want to invite you to Konoha to have an interview with Hokage. My lord, do you consider going? Mu Feng nodded. Well, of course I will. We still have more than 200 ninjas in their hands, and these need to be rescued. It is very necessary for me to go there and bring the person back intact. He was thinking in his heart. The peace talks are completed. Konoha, the land of fire is where our San Shinobi's important products are dumped. Opening Ceremony of San Shinobi Village Ninja School Mu Feng is solemnly wearing the full set of Fungying equipment. He is standing in the ninja school playground. All the teachers of the ninja school are by my side. In front of him were more than 1,000 to 300 new students from the ninja school. San Shinobi enrolled more than 1,300 ninja school students at one time. Konoha only recruited about 500 new students during the same period. Mu Feng expanded the number of people to double that of Konoha in one go. And this is just the beginning. Later, with the increase of San Shinobi's economic strength, the scale of ninja school will gradually expand. Ninja school is a very good training institution. Mu Feng naturally used it to continue using it. But by the way, he also added some content. For students who don't know chakra, they will not be abandoned later. They can join Shangren and Gongren courses to become professional Shangren and Gongren. For Mu Feng, the ninja is a basket. You can put anything in it. The idea that only those who know ninjutsu or ninjas is an old concept in the past. Emerging San Shinobi village doesn't do that. Mu Feng glanced over the faces of these immature students. Some of them know each other. For example, Zaluo, Shinshi, Yetu and others from the orphanage. More are unknown. Some of them come from ninja families, some from ordinary people's families. Especially the children of ordinary people's families are even more excited and their eyes are shining. In the past when resources were scarce and the economy was poor, ordinary people rarely had the opportunity to go to Jonan school. San Shinobi village will invest funds and resources in a small number of ninja school students. Now Mu Feng is reforming. All school-age children are required to attend school. All tuition fees and living expenses are borne by the village. When Mu Feng brought it up at the time, Longsha, Dingxi and other high-level officials expressed concern. My lord, this investment is not too much. The village has money now, but it can't be wasted. If you want to expand the scale of the ninja school, you can but. It can't be expanded so much, it's almost 30 times. Quote. If this is implemented, I am afraid that three or four thousand people will be enrolled every year. This is a heavy burden. 
A ninja school student has three meals a day, ninja tools used in learning, etc. are all paid by the village. This is a huge investment, and it will take three years for the students to complete their studies before they can benefit. No one knows how the specific income will be. What if it's all a bunch of genin? Even rebellion, they suggested. It is a good thing that adults want to expand the scale of ninja schools. They can control the scale and conduct screening instead of being able to enroll at an age. You must know that Konoha village only has about 500 students per year. Mu Feng persisted. No, San Shinobi village has fallen far behind other villages. We must speed up our pace to catch up with other ninja villages and increase the number of ninjas in our own village. As for the money, don't worry, our products will earn us money. When everyone had different opinions, Mu Feng simply used Fungying power to force his way through. This matter is so decided, and it will be carried out accordingly. In Ninja Village, Shadow Ninja means that there is no second authority. Longsha made a different voice among all the voices. Mu Feng looked at him. Longsha trembled. The longer Mu Feng has been Fungying, the majesty and aura of the superior person on him will grow day by day. My lord, I have no objection. Longsha was the first to express his attitude. I am in charge of education, and the hardware such as the ninja school building can be quickly completed. Mu Feng nodded slightly. The San Shinobi construction team is too strong right now. But the teacher doesn't have that many people. Longsha was crying. San Shinobi ninja school teachers are configured according to the original configuration of one or two hundred people. Mu Feng suddenly asked for thirty or forty times of expansion. Ninja school is not so suitable for teachers. This point. Mu Feng himself also had a headache. What can you do? He can take pictures of ninja tools and mechanical equipment, but he can't take pictures of living people. Let's discuss for a while, and Ding Shi has an idea. Or we'll call back all the ninjas who used to be teachers. Ninjas are for life. To be a Jonin is to be a ninja for life. Even if you've been a Jenin for 50 years, you're still a ninja. Otherwise, you will either die or the forehead protector will draw a line. In the ninja world, there is never such a thing as retirement or layoff. Mu Feng thought for a while, and could only do so. Then do it first. In the end, Chio and Ebizo, the elders in their 70s and 80s, could barely make up the configuration of more than 1,000 to 300 freshmen. The freshmen looked at Mu Feng excitedly. Master Fungying Mu Feng is the hero in their hearts. After becoming Fungying, Mu Feng brought work and food and clothing to the family. Now the family has meat to eat, water to drink, electricity and air conditioning every day. This is something that no one has ever dared to think of before. Now Master Mu Feng also let them join in school. Everyone vowed in their hearts that they would work hard and become a good helper to Lord Mu Feng. Mu Feng looked at these immature faces and showed a gratified smile. You are the future of San Shinobi Village. I hope you will study hard at the ninja school. Each of you can grow into a great hero who can protect the village. Can you do it? The students chanted together. Okay. We will definitely work hard. Yes, Case Cage Sama. The immature, clear voice went straight to the sky. Under the sun, in the brand new ninja school. The future of San Shinobi Village begins to grow. Kakashi was also surprised by the changes in San Shinobi Village just like Jiraiya and Naruto. After meeting Akamaiki Choza, Nara Shikahisa and Yamanaka Haiyi, he was summoned by Mu Feng. Kakashi was led by Yigui to the Case Cage building. The Fungying building is also built on the back of the mountain just like the Hokage building. And now the mountain is under construction. Tall buildings are like tall towers standing behind Fungyinglu. Let's go, don't make adults wait in a hurry. Kakashi followed Yi Gui to Case Cage's office. The Case Cage office is somewhat similar to the Hokage office. A large desk with files stacked high on the desk, wall-mounted filing cabinets, neatly arranged books, folders. In different places, there are also office supplies such as computers and printers on the Fungying table. When Kakashi came in, Mu Feng was typing on the computer keyboard. Mu Feng typed seriously. Yi Gui whispered, My lord, Konoha messenger Kakashi is here. Mu Feng didn't look up. Oh, Kakashi, sit down. I'll take care of it right away. Kakashi sat on the chair opposite Mu Feng's desk. After Mu Feng finished typing, the file was printed out. After reading it once, I stamped my wind shadow seal. 
Yi Gui, take it to Tamari and ask her to prepare according to the above number. Yi Gui took it. Kakashi glanced over briefly. The names of various ninja tools written above are followed by the quantity. There are 40,000 kanai, 30,000 shurikens, and so on. What is this for? Could it be the preparation of arms before the war? Ninja fighting is also quite expensive. Often one shot is a handful of kanai, and the shuriken is thrown out. Kakashi pretended not to notice, and looked back. He found Mu Feng looking at him with a smile on his face. Mu Feng seemed to know what he saw. Kakashi was a little embarrassed. Fortunately, his face was covered with a face mask, so there was no change in his expression. Mu Feng, you should be wondering why I prepared ninja gear. Kakashi, just in time to see, just in time. Don't be nervous. Mu Feng smiled and said, that's the ninja tool I prepared for you Konoha, you will know sooner or later. Ninja tools prepared for us Konoha. Could it be arms? Kakashi's heart tightened. I know that Konoha is Omura, and there are many ninjas and money. There must be a big market for ninjas. When Mu Feng mentioned the ninja market, Kakashi was taken aback. Kakashi. Those are ninja tools that are going to be sold by Konoha. Kakashi is brilliant. You can guess Mu Feng's purpose as soon as you hear it. Yeah, anyway, if you go to Konoha, you can't go in vain. I think I have to sell some goods. Mu Feng talks about each item. He has a calm expression on his face. There is no discomfort in the shadow of a big man doing small business. This demeanor made Kakashi admire him. Then Master Mu Feng agreed to go to Konoha for peace talks. Yes, I will go in person to show our sincerity at San Shinobi. Mu Feng thought in his heart. With so many old antiques in the leaves, he must be looking for trouble. It's better to clean it at one time and save time. Kakashi. Thank you, Mr. Mu Feng. Kakashi looked at Mu Feng wearing the wind shadow hat. Listen to him talk about the many good things after San Shinobi and Konoha reconciled. I can't help feeling in my heart. At the beginning, I thought he was extraordinary, but I didn't expect that he would finally stand on the most powerful position in the ninja world. Our two villages have complementary features. For example, Konoha is located in the ninja world, and can become a commercial logistics center. At that time, we can build a railway between the two villages, and then use Konoha as a distribution point to extend the railway to other countries. Kakashi doesn't quite understand either. He could only nod frequently to show his approval. Mu Feng talked for a long time, and finally ended the topic. Then it's hard work for you to wait for two days at San Shinobi Village. We will go to Konoha together in two days. Kakashi. Okay, thank you sir. Dash 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 dash. Two days later, Mu Feng set off with his entourage. San Shinobi Village needs people in every way. He didn't bring too many people. I only brought a few business ninjas from Tamari and Yigwe, a diplomatic contact, as companions. Orochimaru took Yukushi Kabuto back to Tanokuni base to change his body. In front of the San Shinobi village gate, 20 trucks lined up. Mu Feng and Gara, Dingxi, Longsha and others urged. I'm leaving, you must pay attention to protecting the village. There is also the behind-the-scenes situation of food that needs to be investigated in time. Yes, my lord. Teacher, don't worry, I will definitely find out who is behind the scenes. After I find out, I will kill them all. Gara looked like he wanted to kill everyone. Mu Feng patted him on the shoulder. Don't rush to kill. You check the information and wait for me to come back. The ninja world is not only about fighting and killing, but also about understanding the world. Mu Feng got on the truck after talking with everyone. Okay, goodbye, everyone. Kakashi also followed Mu Feng into the car. The convoy drove towards the country of fire. Mu Feng stretched comfortably after getting into the car. Finally I can come out and be lazy, it's not easy. He was snuggled up in the seat, ready for bed. Kakashi froze. Mu Feng laughed. Being a movie is a very tiring thing. You'll know later, especially for those like me who still need to take pictures of various equipment for the village, I am tired. Kakashi was curious. I'll know what it means later. Can I still be Hokage in the future? Driving is naturally not as fast as a ninja acting alone. The ninja can travel in six days. The convoy drove for ten days. 
Tsunade had already prepared after receiving Kakashi's message. After the convoy entered the Land of Fire, Konoha and Bu followed and protected them all the way. On the day when the convoy arrived, Tsunade even led the Konoha executives to wait in front of the barrier gate. There was the roar of a car motor from the other side of the road. The road vibrated, and the trees on both sides of the road shook. Some uninformed people are curious about the sound of a car engine. They were talking in private. What the hell is it? Those who had received the intelligence told them. It's a car. What is a car? It is said to be a four-wheeled horseless carriage that burns oil. Horseless carriage. Everyone was more interested and looked up. The first car comes into view. Rectangular, metal casing, four wheels running fast on the ground. Someone exclaimed. Wow, it looks amazing. Some people also disdain. It's just a cargo car, useless to us ninjas. Just a detonator will blow up. Others agree. Shimura Danzo is even more blunt. It's just tricks and ingenuity. Ninjas are useless with these. That's what San Shinobi Village does, and Shimura Danzo thinks it's really non-threatening. Twenty cars parked. Tsunade stepped forward. Mu Feng got out of the car. Tsunade wears Hokage formal attire. Mu Feng is in casual attire. Tsunade looked at Mu Feng. Handsome and handsome face. There is a majesty of the superior in the eyebrows. Mu Feng doesn't need to look at the Hokage bamboo hat fire characters, he knows who is Tsunade just from his body shape. Tsunade said politely, Master Case Cage welcomes you. Mu Feng also politely said to Kaido, Master Hokage is here to greet you in person. Master Case Cage, the boat is exhausting, please follow me to the village to rest. Mu Feng declined at first. Ha ha, thank you, but we have a lot of people and cars this time, so we need to arrange them first. Tsunade, there are warehouses in the village, and the warehouses can place goods and vehicles first. No, I still don't want to spread out. Mu Feng spoke his mind. May I ask Mr. Hokage to find an open space, we brought our own tents and other things, and we can rest and guard the goods by ourselves. Tsunade wondered. There are not many open spaces in the village. Konoha village has a large population, and the buildings in the village are densely packed and row upon row. It's not easy to find an open space to park 20 cars or pitch a tent. Mu Feng. There is no need for a special place. We don't need to go into the center of the village. Let's just find an open space in Nanhi Zichuan. Minami Kanogawa is the river that flows through Konoha village. When Mu Feng said so, Tsunade couldn't refuse. Kakashi, then I will let you accompany Master Mu Feng to find the place. After it's settled, please come over, Master Mu Feng. I'm treating Master Mu Feng as a banquet. Mu Feng readily agreed. It's nice to have a drink with Tsunade. Kakashi accompanied Mu Feng along the Nanhi River. Mu Feng and the convoy headed southwest. Mu Feng finally chose a large open space near the river bank. This location is good. It's very open, with trees and a river, and the scenery is nice and quiet. In terms of rings, the location of this place is almost the same as the 8th and 9th rings of Konoha village. Kakashi glanced around. Look worried. Can my lord change places? Why, this place is a bit unlucky. Mu Feng chuckled. What's unlucky? Isn't there a shrine over there? Mu Feng pointed to Nanhi Shrine not far away. Kakashi didn't dare to say more. This place is actually not far from the former site of the Uchiha family. Kakashi. All right then. Mu Feng greeted everyone. Now start pitching tents and setting up camp. Everyone in San Shinobi started to set up camp. Tamari, Yi Gui, I will leave the rest to you. Yes, my lord. Mu Feng patted his butt and followed Kakashi to find Tsunade for a drink. In a high-end izakaya in Konoha, Tsunade and Mu Feng sat indoors. The wine table is full of sashimi, eel, sushi, sake and other wine and dishes. Mu Feng looked at Tsunade sitting across from him, feeling amused. He joked. Master Tsunade, it sounds warm in the room, you wear a Hokage suit to wrap yourself tightly. Tsunade looked at the casual wear, and the leisurely Mu Feng couldn't bear it anymore. She took off the Hokage hat and put it on the table. He reached out and tore off the tube-shaped robe on his body. The simple regular clothes worn underneath are exposed. She patted her chest. It's killing me. Mu Feng saw the ground shaking before his eyes. Okay. Don't treat your brother as an outsider. 
Tsunade can do it. Mu Feng picked up the sake bottle. Come, full. He poured wine for both of them. Come on, take a deep breath. Mu Feng breathed a sigh of relief. Tsunade showed no sign of weakness either. A mouthful of boredom. The two of them didn't talk about anything else, just like drinking buddies. You toast me. I toast you. I had a great time drinking it. Drink to the back. Mu Feng was a little curious. Why don't you talk about business? Tsunade smashed the glass. Peach blossoms appeared on the cheeks. A red lip. A faint aroma of wine is oncoming. It's as good as drinking if you're down to business. After so many days of Hokage, I haven't had a good meal yet. Feelings are the same as myself, and I just fish when I look for opportunities at work. Mu Feng laughed. Okay, let's take one. Hello, brothers. Samsung photos. Four happy fortunes. Five leaders. Tsunade's secretary, Shizun, was surprised to hear the strange voice outside the bar. What are the two adults doing? She couldn't help being curious, secretly opened a gap in the paper door, and opened her eyes wide to look. At a glance, the whole person was stunned. Tsunade and Mu Feng sat together shoulder to shoulder. The two of them punched each other and drank when they lost. It looks like a pair of good brothers. I saw Mu Feng's head slipping into Tsunade's arms. Shizun couldn't bear it anymore. She jerked open the paper door. Master Tsunade. A scream startled the drunk and ignorant two people. Most of him woke up reeking of alcohol. Tsunade bows her head. It happened to meet Mu Feng's eyes. Tsunade Lu Mei stood upside down. Heavenly pain fist. An old punch hit Mu Feng's chest. Catchy catchy. The tavern floor was cracked. The violent vibration alarmed Anbu who was in charge of the secret guard. Anbu appeared from all corners wearing an animal mask. Master Tsunade, what's wrong? Tsunade flushed. Fine, it's okay, you go out. Mu Feng crawled out from the pit. The two looked at each other. The atmosphere was a little awkward. Good brother, see you next time. Mu Feng left without saying a word and hurriedly slipped away. Seeing Mu Feng going out alone, Shizun hurriedly asked Tsunade. My lord, do you want to send someone to guard to avoid accidents? Tsunade shook his head. He looked at Mu Feng's back. Need not. If you get hit by my Tongtian fist, there is nothing wrong with it, and how can it be hurt by ordinary ninjas? Mu Feng rubbed his chest. This woman is too cruel. Good brothers are welcome. It's a good thing I'm strong enough. Mu Feng walked towards the camp. Konoha village is quiet late at night. There are few pedestrians on the road. Only the moonlight and street lamps illuminate the streets. Mu Feng walked to a deserted street. A dark figure stood up from the pole. Behind a bright moon, red cloud turtleneck trench coat with black base. Long black hair, the deep lines extending from the corner of the eyes near the nose to the eyes. The zoo character ring representing vermilion bird is worn on the ring finger of the right hand. There is a long scratch in the middle of the mark of the forehead protector Konoha Shinobi. Look at his blood red eyes again. Mu Feng knew who it was. Uchiha Itachi. What is he here for? The two eyes met. Just a split second. Mu Feng just stood there dumbfounded, as if he had lost his soul. Uchiha Itachi fell in front of Mu Feng. He is very confident in his magic. He didn't hide his thoughts directly to Mu Feng. I happened to come to Konoha to do something. I need someone to deliver a message for Shimura Danzo again. I, Uchiha Itachi, am alive. Uchiha Itachi and Ganpei Kisame came here this time to capture Nine Tails Jinchuriki Naruto. Uchiha Itachi would like to remind Shimura Danzo on the way. I am still alive. He must not think of Sasuke. It just so happened that Mu Feng also arrived at Konoha today. Uchiha Itachi felt that controlling Mu Feng to convey this message was better and more deterrent. Uchiha Itachi approached Mu Feng confidently. Son, let's go to the doctor when we are sick, and don't pretend outside. A voice suddenly rang in Uchiha Itachi's mind. He looked around warily. Who? The voice in my mind sounded again. Look left and right to see what? Aren't I just standing in front of you? Uchiha Itachi looked at Mu Feng in astonishment. He was smiling to himself. I really didn't expect to meet in this situation. Hello, Uchiha Itachi. Uchiha Itachi pulled away with a body flicker technique and stood back on the pole. How did you break my illusion? Mu Feng, 
your mental power is weaker than mine, so of course you can break me easily. The electromagnetic barrier in my mind that isolates the influence of external spiritual power is always on. Even if you play Sharingan sneak attack is useless. When the electromagnetic barrier encounters external spiritual power, it will automatically isolate and clean up the influence of external spiritual power. Unless the opponent's mental power is strong enough to surpass Mu Feng's mental power to break through the electromagnetic barrier and control Mu Feng. The problem is that the mental strength of Mu Feng, who is blessed by the system, far exceeds that of Uchiha Itachi. Mu Feng broke his Sharingan illusion lightly. Uchiha Itachi raised his vigilance. He didn't expect Mu Feng to be so tough when he just took office. As a member of Akatsuki, he knows the strength of the members of the organization. Ordinary village shadows, even the five great shadows. They didn't pay attention either. Uchiha Itachi. I'm really sorry to bother you, but I'm taking my leave. He also wants to capture Naruto. Mu Feng looked difficult to deal with. Uchiha Itachi prepares to withdraw. He's another body flicker technique. Mu Feng didn't chase him. Just stood quietly on the street. Stand still. Whoosh. A dark shadow appeared at the head of the telephone pole. Uchiha Itachi appeared again. He opened his eyes and looked. It happened to meet Mu Feng's eyes. How is this going? Obviously, he should transfer away. Uchiha Itachi uses the body flicker technique again. He still shows up on the pole. On the street, Mu Feng still stood where he was, looking at him with a smile on his face. Uchiha Itachi's eyes narrowed. Sharingan hook jade turn. It seems that I have been hit by an illusion. Chapter 51 Uchiha Itachi is an illusion genius with a family Sharingan bonus. He once said, Every technique has weaknesses and flaws. The weaknesses and risks of this technique are me. This is his confidence. Guyu turned in his eyes. Magic mirror world. He wants to decipher the illusion cast by the enemy on himself and fully reflect the effect of the spell to the enemy. As the Guyu turned, the blood's eyes glowed red. Mu Feng's eyes felt the shock from Sharingan's pupil power. At a microscopic level invisible to the naked eye, Mu Feng's pupils continuously emitted electromagnetic waves. The direction of the electromagnetic wave is exactly Uchiha Itachi binocular. He's like a signal tower. Uchiha Itachi's eyes are the signal receiving device. His brain is the TV. The TV receives electromagnetic signals. The transmitted image and sound are displayed in the brain. This is also the basic principle of illusion. To deceive and manipulate the senses of others. Now Uchiha Itachi reacted. Start using Sharingan pupil power to counter Mu Feng's electromagnetic signal and try to reflect the signal back. Sharingan's pupil power and electromagnetic signals come to confront Uchiha Itachi's eye mask. Mu Feng felt the impact of this pupil power competition on his eyelids. Some slightly sting. It's no wonder that people who use the pupil technique tend to bleed and become blind. This kind of great mental stress is very heavy on the eyes. Don't blind your eyes ahead of time. Based on the principle of cherishing talents and loving talents, Mu Feng calls back magnet style, TV technology. Uchiha Itachi instantly felt the pressure clear from his eyes. His eyes suddenly lit up. He was still standing on the pole. Mu Feng was still standing in the middle of the road. Everything seems to be the same as it was from the beginning. Nothing has changed. Are you free from the illusion? Is Magic Mirror World Transformation successful? Uchiha Itachi watched Mu Feng closely. Mu Feng smiled slightly. Don't be nervous. The illusion confrontation between us is over. I have to say that your illusion talent is really strong. You can resist my TV technique with mental power far weaker than mine. TV technique. What a strange technique. Uchiha Itachi. You are quite self-aware. Your illusion is really bad. Now I think there are only pictures and sounds in illusion, without touch, smell and other illusion elements. Mu Feng shrugged. Programming is a hassle. I don't want to be bald at a young age. Electromagnetic signals are not emitted indiscriminately but need to be programmed. The programming is right, you can program a mobile phone technique that can smell. Illusion is a very potential technique. If Mu Feng had enough energy and enough time, he might be able to create the cyberspace of the matrix. He doesn't have time now, and he doesn't have enough mental strength to make up a real world. So he simply did a barrier defense illusion and a simple and crude TV technique. 
If only Uchiha Itachi hadn't been overconfident. From the very beginning, I knew that I was under the illusion. Uchiha Itachi couldn't understand the baldness theory. Then K's cage goodbye. His figure swayed. The body flicker technique is ready to go. How could Mu Feng let him leave easily? Whoosh. Mu Feng's figure disappeared on the ground. He appears next to Uchiha Itachi. Palm out. Electric magnet style. Magnetic control. Uchiha Itachi, who was in a transient state, sucked in from not far away. Uchiha Itachi was shocked. He flipped his palms. The shuriken flew towards Mu Feng with a shining cold light. Metal weapons are useless against Mu Feng. The shuriken flipped in the air and flew towards Uchiha Itachi. Uchiha Itachi was taken aback. He flashed his shuriken sideways. The shuriken took away a lock of his long hair. His mouth puffed up. The right hand is erected to the mouth. He is going to attack Mu Feng with fire style and phoenix fire technique. Mu Feng scolded. Hey, do you have to fight vigorously with me and then attract all the people from Konoha? Uchiha Itachi stopped moving. He landed on top of a yard fence next to a utility pole. You are strong. I misread you. Uchiha Itachi admits to being wrong. Mu Feng landed on the wall opposite him. I'm stronger than you think. Uchiha Itachi felt disdainful. I still have Amaterasu, Suzano and other ninjutsu are useless. You must be thinking you can beat me with Amaterasu, Suzano or something. Mu Feng's words shocked Uchiha Itachi. He was astonished. How does he know what is on my mind? Am I still in the illusion? Uchiha Itachi checked it out. I should not be in the illusion. He looked at Mu Feng. There is a slight killing intent in the eyes. How did you know about my ninjutsu? The voice was cold. If the other party's answer does not satisfy him. Even if you don't complete the task yourself, you have to take him down. Mu Feng didn't care about his killing intent. I not only know your ninjutsu. I also know many things about you. You are actually protecting the village. No, it was protecting your younger brother Uchiha Sasuke that became Akatsuki who joined the rebellion. You even sacrificed the Uchiha clan for the peace of the village. Right, the genius of the Uchiha clan, Itachi. Under the bright moonlight, Mu Feng's eyes are as bright as stars. There was a faint smile on the corner of his mouth. Evil spirit, confidence. Uchiha Itachi was so shocked that his whole body trembled. Uchiha Itachi stared at Mu Feng with blood red eyes. Who are you? Why do you do these things? What is your purpose? Joined Anbu at the age of 11. At the age of 13, he was the captain of the Anbu branch of Konoha Shinobi village. Uchiha Itachi, who is always calm and rational, couldn't help being nervous at this time. Mu Feng smiled lightly. Don't be nervous, I'm actually a good person. Uchiha Itachi looked at him with slightly mocking eyes. What a nice guy, turning into a traitor, destroying the whole family with his hands, and walking in the dark, he doesn't believe in such a simple distinction between good people and bad people. It's normal for me, as Fankage, to know a lot of secrets. Mu Feng fooled the past. Then start bewitching. Actually, I'm not worth it for you Uchiha clan. Your family and the Senju family are the two cornerstone families of Konoha village. It can be said that without Uchiha, there would be no Konoha village. For Konoha, you Uchiha family shed blood and sweat, killing and injuring countless people. In the end, he was forced to rebel because of suspicion. As one of the last survivors of the Uchiha family. Don't you feel sorry for Uchiha? Uchiha Itachi is no three-year-old either. He had already made up his mind when he decided to execute the genocide plan. A few words from Mu Feng will not shake him. HMPH, I don't know how you know these secrets. Maybe you have something to do with Danzo. But let me tell you, don't try to shake me. I did it myself, and I have my own reasons. Mu Feng shrugged. It doesn't matter if you want to protect the village or your brother. I think you made the wrong choice. Uchiha Itachi's heart skipped a beat. Fortunately, he suppressed his emotions in time. He said blankly, What nonsense are you talking about? I have never regretted it. Then I will analyze it with you as a shadow. Mu Feng gives lessons to Uchiha Itachi. I am Ninja Village Shadow. One of my family members is suspected of wanting to rebel. So what is my best solution? Uchiha Itachi looked at Mu Feng curiously. He's a good ninja, a genius ninja. He can perform various tasks perfectly. But he's just a ninja after all. 
tools in the hands of the superior. He never looked at things from a higher level. First of all, I am sure that there is indeed only one family, and no other families are involved. Then the situation is very simple and can be dealt with. Simple, Uchiha Itachi asked involuntarily. Simple. Mu Feng nodded affirmatively. The strength of a family is not enough to fight against a village. I'm Hokage, so I'll be straightforward. I'll find the Uchiha Patriarch openly and show the strength of my Hokage in the village, so as to intimidate and subdue him. Of course I will kill a few people if necessary. It's similar to how a pack of wolves will bite a challenger without hesitation and subdue him once they find out about it. The biggest problem with Konoha's handling of the Uchiha clan at the beginning was hesitation. They were suspicious of the other party and did not dare to suppress it head on. In the end, they could only end up with the extermination of the clan. Uchiha Itachi retorted, The Uchiha family is determined to rebel, and it is impossible to subdue it. That's because Konoha wasn't ruthless enough, and he refused to show absolute strength, which made the Uchiha people lucky. Mu Fang's eyes are shining like stars. Peace can only happen under two circumstances. One is that both sides have the power to exterminate each other and achieve a balance of terror. The second is that one side has the strength to crush the other side. No matter how the ants are struggling, they can only bow their heads in despair in the face of the elephant. What did Konoha do? Nothing was done. They sit back and watch Uchiha's ancestors stir up trouble and do nothing. Even if you bring other families over to show off your muscles. The Uchiha Patriarch will kill the Patriarch if he refuses to accept it. Let's see if Uchiha dares to rebel. Uchiha Itachi froze. He had never thought about it, nor heard that Konoha's senior management had such an idea. To deal with rebellion, they will only engage in assassinations and conspiracy. This is the inherent thinking of ninjas. That's what they do. He is upright, above board, and engaging in shady schemes. They really didn't think about it. Mu Feng's words continued to ring in Uchiha Itachi's ears. If the Uchiha family is subdued for a short time, then they can take actions such as expatriation, spin-off, and branch house to disintegrate the strength of the Uchiha family. In any case, I don't think it's necessary to make such a tragedy of extermination. Is there any need for extermination? If you are decisive and ruthless, there is no need at all. As for your brother Sasuke, he doesn't have to be an orphan. You can also grow up happily with your brother. Mention Sasuke. The most secret place in Uchiha Itachi's heart was stirred. Those blood-red eyes were also a little dim. He thought about it according to Mu Feng's train of thought. It is indeed possible. Did I do something wrong? The persistence in my heart for many years was broken. I started to question myself. He, who had always been firm, was shaken. Do not. He covered his face in pain. Do not. You are nothing short of a devil. Uchiha Itachi stared at Mu Feng with blood-red eyes blazing. Mu Feng chuckled. No, I'm a good person. I'm here to help, save the good guys of your Uchiha family. Save us Uchiha. Uchiha Itachi froze. Mu Feng nodded. Don't you think there are only two of you brothers left in Uchiha, don't you need to be rescued? Without you two, the Uchiha family with a long history and glory will be gone. Uchiha Itachi was also stubborn. We don't need you to save, Konoha village will be protected in Sasuke. As for me, I don't need your protection. Mu Feng laughed in a slightly mocking tone. Konoha village doesn't protect anyone. Just like this, terrorists come to your door every now and then, and a village with ambitious people making trouble inside is no village where people can feel at ease. Uchiha Itachi was not convinced. No matter how bad Konoha village is, it's better than your San Shinobi village. That's not necessarily true. Mu Feng sent out an invitation. You can visit our San Shinobi village when you have time. I believe you will choose to settle in San Shinobi village after seeing the strength of our San Shinobi village. Of course your younger brother Sasuke can also move to San Shinobi village. Uchiha Itachi, is that what you are for? Right. Mu Feng was straightforward. I am growing San Shinobi Village, and I need strong ninjas and ninja families to join San Shinobi to strengthen San Shinobi Village. You and your brother come, I will give you the highest treatment. Do you often vomit blood and have chest pains, then you have a disease in your body. I will treat you when I arrive at San Shinobi Village. Humph, Uchiha Itachi snorted. Are you finished? It's over, 
then I can go. At this moment, his heart is calm and chaotic. He was afraid that if he stayed any longer, he would be even more disturbed. Mu Feng. Okay, I'll wait for you at San Shinobi Village. Uchiha Itachi gave him a deep look. Immediately. A body flicker technique to get away. Mu Feng looked at the direction he was going away and smiled. Uchiha Itachi. We will meet again. Mu Feng walked towards the camp. Konoha and Bu trackers who were hiding in the dark also came to their senses. As soon as he stepped into the street, he was controlled by Uchiha Itachi illusion. When he came to his senses, he was completely unaware that he was being controlled. He thought he had been following Mu Feng. After following Mu Feng back to the camp, he returned to the route to report to Shimura Danzo. Master Danzo, Fungying Mu Feng and Master Hokage did not do anything unusual after drinking. He returned to the camp obediently. Well, very good. I hope this kid can be more honest. Shimura Danzo praised Anbu for stalking people while wearing a mask. Good job, Yamato, you step back. Yes, my lord. The next day, the formal meeting of Twin Shadows begins. Inside the large Tobarama, Mu Feng is wearing the full Fungying outfit. Fungying bamboo hat, big robe. Seriously, Tsunade across the long table is also dressed in formal Hokage. Serious, behind the two are the participants from both sides. San Shinobi here is Tamari, the leaf ghost. On Konoha's side are Midokado Homura, Yudatain Kaharu, Shimura Danzo, and Shizune. Mu Feng glanced at Tsunade. The other party had a serious face, not at all like a good brother from last night. The abyss is also tightly covered. Hey, it's really fake cigarettes, fake wine and fake friends. Tsunade saw the playfulness in Mu Feng's eyes. She is a phoenix eye. Master Case Cage, let's have a formal meeting, don't think about irrelevant things. Mu Feng chuckled. Well, let's begin then. Is there any objection from Konoha to the four points I mentioned? Tsunade. There are no comments on two, three, and four. Then it's the first comment. Tsunade. That's right, it was San Shinobi who attacked Konoha. We, Konoha, didn't ask San Shinobi for compensation. It's already very good. How can you ask for compensation, Mr. Mu Feng? Mu Feng. HMPH, I have already told you Jiraiya about the relevant reasons, so I won't go into details. The culprit is Konoha, I hope you can realize it. Everyone had a good time drinking and drinking last night, which does not prevent tit for tat for their respective interests today. Humph, Shimura Donzo's gloomy voice sounded. Your San Shinobi's own strength is not enough to provoke the daimyo to transfer the task to us. What does it have to do with Konoha? Is it because you are weak that Konoha will let you go? There is no such ridiculous reason in the ninja world. Zicheng Danzo mocked Mu Feng unceremoniously. Tamari and Yi Gui said angrily, Who are you, dare to be presumptuous here? Shimura Danzo said proudly, Old man Shimura Danzo. Tamari is unclear. Yi Gui has heard about this Konoha village underground king. He looked warily at the bandaged old man opposite him. Tsunade. Danzo, it's a double shadow meeting now, please be careful with your words and deeds. Zicheng Danzo is stubborn. Master Hokage, I am reminding you of the attitude that Konoha village should have as a strong village. Tsunade scolded. I have my own measure, so I don't need you to worry about it. Snapped. Slap. Clap clap. There was applause in the meeting room. Everyone saw Mu Feng applauding. This Shimura Danzo said so well. It is true that you are weak. There is no reason for others to let you. But what if I'm stronger? Will you let me, Danzo? Mu Feng stared at Shimura Danzo like a hawk. Zicheng Danzo was taken aback by Mu Feng's sharp eyes. Fortunately, most of his face was tied tightly. There was no look of astonishment. Let a young man be frightened by himself. Even if the other party is a shadow. I can't bear it either. He fought back, mocking Mu Feng. Case Cage, are you illiterate and uneducated? San Shinobi has been ranked last among the five ninja villages since its establishment. If your San Shinobi village doesn't have a history book, I can give you a copy of Ninja World Ninja Village History Encyclopedia so that you can have a good understanding of the history of San Shinobi village. The old guy is sharp tongued. Of course Mu Feng was not to be trifled with. I can see that your whole body is bandaged like a mummy and you are leaning on a cane. It seems that you are seriously ill. 
Your ears are bad, and you can't understand people's words, so don't come out and make a fool of yourself. Listen clearly what I said is that I am strong. If I am strong as K's cage, it means that San Shinobi village is strong. Fool, Shimura Danzo made fun of Mu Fang for his appearance. My lungs exploded, if it weren't for the scruples of the Konoha people present. He wanted to tear off the bandages on the spot and use distinguished heavenly gods on Mu Fang. Tsunade snorted, trying to laugh. She still managed to hold back her smile. She patted the table. You two stop arguing. I don't think San Shinobi Village's request is unreasonable. Master Mu Fang, can we consider other ways to make some compensation? Tsunade sincerely wants to end the dispute between the two parties. Mu Fang hasn't spoken yet. Shimura Danzo chimed in again. Master Hokage, absolutely not. How can we, Konoha, bow down to San Shinobi? Tsunade, it's compensation, not compensation. That's not okay. The hawk Shimura Danzo couldn't see that Konoha was a little weak. Especially for a weak village like San Shinobi Village. It seemed to him a disgrace. Zichung Danzo, please step down. Go out. Tsunade can't stand him anymore. Shimura Danzo was not reconciled, and looked at Mu Feng with resentful eyes. Wait, Mu Feng reached out to stop Shimura Danzo. Just about to turn around, Shimura Danzo yelled, What do you want? Tsunade. Master Mu Feng, the elder of my village disrespected you, and I apologize to you on his behalf. Nothing to do with you. Mu Feng smiled. I've always been an understanding person. Shimura Danzo is a powerful elder in your village. His opinion must be very important to you, Tsunade. Tsunade nodded. Shimura Danzo, as the patriarch who holds the roots, is very powerful in Anbu and throughout the village. Then, for the sake of our good brothers last night, I will help you solve this trouble. Mu Feng stood up slowly and looked at Shimura Danzo. Danzo, you must be very unconvinced if you go like this. Humph. Shimura Danzo snorted coldly. Then why don't we have a fight? Mu Feng sent out an invitation. Don't you think you Konoha are strong? Then you can prove it. See if you can beat me, Fangying. Mu Feng actually invited himself to a duel. Shimura Danzo froze. Immediately, there was a sneer. So what about Fangying? How capable you are at such a young age? Okay, what if you lose? Mu Feng, if I lose, then San Shinobi Village loses. Since then, San Shinobi Village has become Konoha's vassal, contributing to Konoha. Well, shout out to Shimura Danzo. This condition really surprised him. Too much for him. Tsunade intervened. Master Mu Feng, there is no need to get angry. Danzo, you are also in the older grades, don't do it. We can have a good peace talk. Shimura Danzo uttered his famous quote. Ninjas sacrifice themselves. I came here for a while for the sake of the village. Mu Feng suddenly asked Tsunade. Tsunade, I heard you like to gamble. Do you know of any way to win without losing? Tsunade froze for a moment. Why are you talking about this now? Tsunade rolled his eyes a little. I complained in my heart. If I knew, I could become a fat sheep. Mu Feng laughed. Do you want to know? Tsunade nodded excitedly. Elder Konoha, Shizun shook his head behind him, covering his face. Tang Tang Shuangying actually talked about gambling in public. It's really speechless. I'll let you know when I win. Zicheng Danzo ridiculed. You can win, dreaming. He asked himself that he had win style, curse seal, sealing technique, generation cells, nine minutes of Azanagi, distinguished heavenly gods, and possessed strength far beyond cage level. A mere wind shadow Mu Feng. What electric magnet style. Unscientific ninja master. What a joke. Danzo. You listen to me. Mu Feng scolded Zicheng Danzo sharply. If I win, we will do things in Konoha at San Shinobi Village in the future, and you will hide away from me. What conditions do I negotiate with Tsunade, and you will implement them honestly? You can promise. Shimura Danzo is confident. Okay, I promise you. Both Mu Feng and Shimura Danzo are interested in competing. Then Tsunade didn't insist anymore. The two parties came to the Chunin third test match venue. Tsunade, Tamari and others watch from the tower. Mu Feng and Shimura Danzo face off in the field. Mu Feng, you old fool, you jumped out ruthlessly in time. What does it mean? Is San Shinobi village vernacular? Shimura Danzo froze. He reacted immediately. 
That's certainly not a good word. He was just about to lose his temper. Mu Fang continued. Peace without strength is false. I'm just looking for someone to show off my strength, so you come out. Shimura Danzo, you're a real master of taking the blame. What does it mean to take the blame? Certainly not a good word either. Shimura Danzo thumped the cane heavily in his hand. Wonko kid, I'll let the old man teach you a lesson. Mu Feng didn't take Shimura Danzo seriously at all. He laughed and said, You are wearing a bandage with one hand, and you are blind in one eye. Do you want me to let you have one hand and one eye? Shimura Danzo, No, the words have not yet been spoken. Mu Feng came to him in the blink of an eye. He he, I was joking. You think I won't beat you when you're old? You. Go to hell, old man. Mu Feng punched Shimura Danzo in the stomach with a heavy punch. Mu Feng was too fast. Don't let Shimura Danzo speak after I finish speaking. He doesn't talk about wood very much. Shimura Danzo gets hit before he can use the body replacement technique or something else. Mu Feng's fist is heavy. Shimura Danzo himself does not mention it. Standing on the tower, everyone watched as Shimura Danzo flew upside down and crashed into the wall. There was a loud bang. The solid wall sank into a large pit. Dusty. Bricks cracked. The power is transmitted to the tower. The whole tower shook. Shizun opened his mouth wide and said in surprise, Oh, my lord, Case Cage Sama's strange power is not inferior to yours. Tsunade was also surprised. Unexpectedly, Mu Feng also has this body technique. Shizun, oh, I won't be killed. There is dust below. Shimura Danzo remained silent for a long time. Tsunade, Midokado Homura, and Yudatane Kaharu are all concerned about the smoke. Tamari and Yigui showed gloating expressions. He deserves to be killed. How dare you offend Lord Fankage? The three of Tsunade are right to be concerned. Except for Orochimaru, a freak among ninjas. Others have no way to get rid of the natural law of birth, old age, sickness and death. Otsutsuki Yuya died when he deserved to die. People are old. Strength, physical fitness and other aspects still decline. Ordinary ninjas are strong offensively and weak defensively. It's not that the Taijutsu ninja is likely to be killed in the face of such a powerful blow from Mu Feng. Mu Feng did not pursue. He stood in the field quietly watching the smoke. It would be easy if Shimura Danzo was killed so easily. In the smoke, Shimura Danzo gasped for breath. Hot sweat oozes from hair. He was dead just now. The old man couldn't stop Mu Feng's thunderous punch. Fortunately, there is Azanagi. Azanagi, born from the application of the ninjutsu, creation of all things, of Sage of Six Paths, it is the ultimate pupil technique that can reverse the situation of the battle. The function is to record the caster's own state with Sharingan at the moment of its activation, and then within the effective time of the spell each person's effective time is different any damage suffered by the caster, even including the casters the death of the caster can physically restore it to the state recorded in the Sharingan but the chakra consumed by the caster will not be restored and the integrity of the eyes that use the spell will not be counted. He recorded his state at the moment of the punch. The resurrection price is that the eye that uses Azanagi will be permanently blinded. A Sharingan on his right arm closed slowly. The ten Sharingan on Danzo's right arm became nine. Shimura Danzo was very distressed. This is ten lives. Inexplicably one is missing. Angry Danzo wants revenge. Before the smoke dissipated, he inhaled and puffed up his cheeks. He wants to use big moves. Wind-style vacuum Dayama. Now Tsunade and others are watching the battle. He dare not reveal his right arm made of Senju Hashirama cells and the Sharingan on his arm. Call, mouth gates. There was a lot of noise. Sweep away the smoke. Vacuum jades shot out of his mouth one by one like rockets. Vacuum Jade is amazingly powerful and can instantly smash the enemy to pieces. The invisible Big Jade blasted towards Mu Feng. The strong wind swayed in the circular arena. Above the city tower, Yi Gui, what a powerful wind style, even stronger than yours. Tamari, no matter how strong you are, you are no match for the boss. Tsunade et al. were somewhat reassured. Mitokado Homura, I just said Danzo couldn't have died that easily. Now it's the sneak attack kid's turn to be in trouble. Yudatane Kaharu is also not happy with Mu Feng's disrespectful behavior. Donzo's vacuum jade will tear him apart. 
Tsunade watched the situation closely. Facing a series of roaring vacuum jades, Mu Feng looked relaxed. There was still a faint smile on the corner of his mouth. Everything seems to be under control. Tsunade was stunned. Mu Feng is definitely not simple. He is aware of Shimura Danzo's attack. How can a mere smog block Mu Feng's electromagnetic eyes? His eyes can see through obstacles as well as court. Shimura Danzo got up. He has seen it long ago. Shimura Danzo puffed out his cheeks. He also saw clearly. He had already been prepared when Vacuum Deu called. A coin flies up. Extend your finger and flick the coin. A blue and white electric current bursts out. Nourish. Electron magnet style. Railgun fires. The electromagnetic cannon can open its teeth and claws, and the dragon flying straight out is shining with lightning. Each piece of vacuum jade was pierced by electromagnetic guns one by one like candied haws. Pooh, pooh, the vacuum is broken. Big jade crushed. Dissolved into the breeze, Mu Feng raised his eyes. With a smile on the corner of his eye. Want to hide? Another coin flew up. Z. The electromagnetic cannon turned into a lightning spear and fired towards Mu Feng's diagonally upper corner. What? There was a scream in the air. Shimura Danzo fell from the sky with a lightning spear in his chest. Bang! The corpse hit the ground and kicked up dust. Azanagi. Another Sharingan closed forever. Ten lives were lost in less than three minutes. Shimura Danzo lying on the ground was so heartbroken that he wanted to die. How on earth did he do it? Shimura Danzo's fighting experience is very rich. Wind-style vacuum Dayama one use. He immediately shifted himself using the body flicker technique. He was going to find an open place, and continue to use wind style to fight Mu Feng at a distance. Who knows that I just transferred for a while. He ran straight into Mu Feng's lightning spear. It felt as if I had agreed with him. How did he know where he was going to teleport? Puzzled, Shimura Danzo was filled with panic. The wind blows. Take away the dust. Mu Feng looked at Shimura Danzo lying on the ground. He taunted. Hey, Danzo, don't rely on your old age, don't think you can touch me by lying on the ground. You should hit me or hit me. Still playing, Shimura Danzo didn't dare to fight again. If I continue to fight, I will lose all eight Sharingan. He jumped up. He is agile and does not want to be disabled with a cane at all. Mu Feng continued to sneer. I can beat you once and your legs and feet will be healed. It seems that if I hit you a few more times, maybe your eyes will not be blind, and your hands will not stop. Shimura Danzo thought to himself, then my taboos have been exposed. He hastily waved his hands. Do not fight, you win. You win. Shimura Danzo conceded defeat, and everyone on the tower behaved differently. Yi Gui praised, your excellency is really powerful. Elder Muya was defeated in two or three hits. Tamari, isn't this normal? Mr. Yi Gui, you will get used to it in the future. Midokado Homura, you detained Kaharu looked solemn. Shimura Danzo was superior to them, so easily defeated by Mu Feng. Fifth K's Cage is a strong man. The losers are their own people. Tsunade felt a sense of refreshment in his heart. Relying on his seniority, Shimura Danzo, an old man, is dissatisfied with his implementation of third generation's past policies. Mu Feng taught him a lesson today, which really made Tsunade happy. By the way, Mu Feng is also more pleasing to the eye. Depend on, Mu Feng complained. You were bragging just now, can you win? Admit defeat after two strokes. Shimura Danzo turned blue. Mu Feng would not let go of this opportunity to mock this old jerk. Otherwise, I think you are also a cripple. I will give you three moves first. I will stand still and give you three moves. We will continue to fight. Shimura Danzo is an old man, so he can't be fooled. No words answered. With a livid face, he looked at Mu Feng angrily. Why don't you dare to fight? You don't always say that ninjas have to sacrifice themselves. Is it okay for you to sacrifice now? If you lose, the honor of the village will be affected. If you don't come here again, you will die. Shimura Danzo's face turned from blue to white. He quickly used Sharingan to record his physical condition. Mu Feng continued, You might be able to mad at yourself off. Enough. Tsunade flew down from the tower and landed between the two. Zichung Danzo, thank you for your hard work this time. You go back first. Shimura Danzo grabbed the steps and dodged immediately. 
He didn't even dare to say a word. He was very aggrieved. I should have known that Mu Fang was so strong. I shouldn't have promised him a duel. If it is not in Konoha or no one's place, Sharingan, wood style and other forbidden techniques together can definitely defeat him. Shimura Danzo walked away with hatred. Tsunade shook his head and sighed. Hey, Mu Fang smiled and said, it's not easy to be a filmmaker. Tsunade smiled slightly. It's still manageable. Mu Fang imparts experience. Actually, to deal with these old stubborn people, you should strike hard, don't be polite. Tsunade doesn't pick up. She is not Mu Fang. She is impulsive and likes to gamble. An astonishingly powerful body. After all, she is still a gentle and principled person. Shimura Danzo did not betray the village. She will not dispose of him for no reason. Tsunade didn't show his face, and fought back. Is that why there are so few old people in San Shinobi village? Mu Feng was slightly taken aback, then laughed out loud. Ha ha, I'm not a pot shadow, I don't take the blame. Now that the living conditions are better, there will be more and more elderly people in San Shinobi village in the future. The small talk is over. Both sides return to Grand Tobarama. Tsunade first asked, By the way, didn't you say you want to tell me how to win without losing? Behind Midokado Homura, you detain Kaharu, Shizun covering their faces. Dignified Hokage doesn't ask about gambling beforehand. Mu Feng chuckled, This is my unique skill, and it cannot be easily spread. Tamari, Yi Gui, go out. Tsunade also said to Midokado Homura, you detain Kaharu, and Shizun, you guys go out too. With all the people gone, Tsunade looked eagerly at Mu Feng. Lao Yuan stared with big eyes. You tell me, don't tell me that if you don't bet, you can never lose. I'm tired of hearing it. Mu Feng, depend on, block my way, right? But this is not a problem for Mu Feng. He blinks. Why don't we take a gamble? I'll let you experience it for yourself. Gambling on such a solemn occasion as the Double Shadow Conference. It's so exciting. The forbidden excitement stirred Tsunade's heart. She also never had a chance to gamble when she became Hokage. Inner gambling addiction attack. It's like 10,000 caterpillars crawling in my heart. That's not good. Tsunade, who is always decisive, showed a shy expression. Nothing bad. There's no one else here, just the two of us. Mu Feng is the devil of temptation. He clapped his hands. A pair of three dice and a bone cup appeared on the table. Come on, no one will ever know. Tsunade looked at the dice in Mu Feng's hand, his eyes were hot. She took a deep breath, and the hill rose. Okay, just once. Mu Feng, well, just once. Compare the size, you come first or I come first. I'll come first. Tsunade took the bone cup and put the dice in it, shaking it skillfully. Bang bang. The dice shook in the bone cup, making a sound. There was a click. Tsunade smashed the bone cup on the table. She touched the round cylindrical bone cup and smiled triumphantly. Humph, hum, you lost, you can't be bigger than me. She lifted the bone cup. 3 6, 1. Tsunade, who has been losing all the time, did not expect that he could shake a leopard. She was pleasantly surprised. It's your turn. This time it was Tsunade's turn to force Mu Feng to do it. Hurry up, hurry up. Mu Feng put the round bone cup back on. Then he doesn't shake either. Just put your hand on the bone cup a little. Tsunade let out a cry. What? She realized something was wrong. Mu Feng picked up the bone cup lid. One of the six is divided in half. Now the points are three sixes plus one point. 1900 to 1800. Tsunade lost. She said angrily, This is two. Ripey, right. Mu Feng had a hippie smile on his face. There's nothing in the rules saying it's not allowed. Actually, it's very simple to win steadily and not lose. You just need to know all the opponent's whole cards and be stronger than him. Tsunade thought to himself, You won, and everything you said was right, how can you still know that Shimura Donzo's cards are down? Then do you know our Konoha village whole card? Mu Feng thought, Actually, I know. Oh, Tsunade, our village is not gambling, we are working together. Tsunade chuckled. How to cooperate and win-win. He drank and gambled with Mu Feng. Tsunade was not as blunt as before, and his posture was much more relaxed. She also tugged at the collar to get some air. 
Since the first one, you feel sorry for your face, why don't we change the way? In what way? I don't want compensation like this, you can use the land in the village as compensation. Village land, Tsunade's almond eyes straightened. Put your hands on the table. He leaned over and glared at Mu Fang. He punched the table. HMPH, Mu Fang, what do you want to do? The land in our village will not be given to outsiders. Fist style doesn't matter. Just a little dizzy. Mu Fang quickly wiped the corners of his mouth. Don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. I have a problem with my expression. Actually, I want to rent a piece of land in your village. Tsunade wondered, what are you renting the land for? Mu Fang explained, it's actually like this. You also know that we have signed an economic and trade treaty, and our village also has some local products. Then there must be a lot of economic and trade exchanges between our two villages in the future. So I thought it would be better to rent a piece of land to build our village's shops, warehouses and residential areas for diplomatic personnel. This will facilitate exchanges and trade between the two parties. Tsunade looked Mu Feng up and down. You really think so? Mu Feng. Of course, my favorite thing is doing business. It is not impossible to rent land for their village to build shops. It's just that you have a sneak attack record, and the village may not agree. Other villages have built large-scale gathering points in their own villages and still have criminal records. Tsunade is afraid that it will be difficult to pass. Mu Feng is very atmospheric. Don't worry, first, our station staff are ordinary people, and second, we can hire Konoha Shinobi as security. Then you can rest assured. Such a mention reassures Tsunade a lot. Seeing Tsunade hesitate, Mu Feng hesitated. Of course, as a principle of reciprocity, you can also build a commercial area in our village, and I can set aside land to lease to you. Tsunade refuses. Oh, no need, our village doesn't have any local specialties to sell to you. Mu Feng thought in his heart. It's not that I didn't give you a chance. When you have no money, don't cry and look for me. There are endless blood resources of sandworms and endless oil underground, and the local products of San Shinobi village will flood Konoha village with mountain roar and tsunami. San Shinobi village will exchange Konoha village's real money with almost zero cost goods. At that time, when I think about it, Konoha will either desperately take on the task, or sell some food to maintain economic balance. How about using the 10-year usufruct of a piece of wasteland as a bargaining chip for peace? Tsunade, can you? Tsunade checked again. You won't send ninjas over here. Yes, ordinary people will stay in the store and manage the warehouse. I ask you Konoha Shinobi to do the security. Then which piece of land do you fancy? Tsunade pulls out the Konoha village map. Mu Feng pointed at the corner of Nanhekwan on the map. Just where we're camping now. I think the location is good. Great location for doing business. Tsunade looked at Mu Feng suspiciously, is this place good? It all belongs to the outskirts of Konoha village. There are no houses nearby. It used to be a peripheral location where the Uchiha family was housed. Mu Feng, ha ha, your village center is densely packed with buildings, which is not suitable for us to open a store in San Shinobi village. What we want to open is a large supermarket, mass market style. The place is small and there are many people, but it is not suitable for us. Tsunade was even more suspicious. Are you sure you are not playing tricks? If you are, I will not let you go. She moved closer. Look directly into Mu Feng's eyes. Seriously want to find out his true inner thoughts. Followed by that faint body fragrance. As a ninja, it's best not to smell too much of yourself. Tsunade still has a unique smell even without paint. Mu Feng rubbed his nose. In this way, if you still don't believe me, I can hand over the construction of shops and houses to you. You should rest assured now. Tsunade. We also need to inspect the goods. It is good. Mu Feng's eyes are as clear as a bottomless lake. Tsunade stared at it for a while, but found no trace of conspiracy. Because Mu Feng's actions are all upright schemes. Tsunade sits down. Well, that's fine. I'll discuss it with the consultants, please wait for a while. Mu Feng. Then I'll wait for your good news. Mu Feng took Tamari with him, and Igwe rested in the lounge. Tsunade had a meeting with Midokado Homura, Yudetane Kaharu, and Shimura Danzo who had the cheek to return. Tsunade told the three of Mu Feng's request. 
Shimura Danzo objected at first regardless. I object and cannot agree to his request. He wants to continue to plunge the two villages into chaos. Tsunade. Shimura Danzo, what did you agree to do when you lost just now? The conditions I discussed with Mu Feng, you just implement it. Shimura Danzo is still stubborn. Even if I lose, as a ninja, I can give up my honor for the sake of the village. Enough. This is not a matter of your personal honor, but a matter of the safety of the village. Tsunade loudly refuted Shimura Danzo. From all perspectives, there are conspiratorial organizations making trouble in the ninja world. We at Konoha Village should focus on defending the village instead of fighting needlessly with San Shinobi Village. We fought San Shinobi Village, and I'm afraid Rock Shinobi Village and Cloud Shinobi Village will win. Cloud Shinobi Village ambitions, in particular, are worrisome. Many years ago, Cloud Shinobi Village ninjas invaded the Hyuga Mansion and kidnapped Hanada, who was young at the time. After Hiyashi found out about it, he killed the ninja from the Land of Thunder and rescued Hanada. Later, the people of Cloud Shinobi Village demanded that Konoha Village hand over the murderer's head. Under the pressure of Cloud Shinobi Village, Konoha agreed to sacrifice Hiyashi's twin brother Hayuga Hazashi instead of Hiyashi. It's Konoha Village's reluctance to mention the scars. You detain Kaharu. Hokage is right. It is pointless for us to continue fighting with San Shinobi. They are a desert with no resources to plunder. Mitokado Homura. We have all come into contact with San Shinobi. Their personality is as stubborn as desert sand and stones. They don't care about life and death in fights. Even if they want to win, they will sacrifice many of our children. You detain Kaharu. If the case cage is a piece of land beside the Nanga River and not in the center of the village, then they can use it as they please. Mitokado Homura. They sent ordinary people to the station, and we are responsible for the security and even the building of the house. We can rest assured that Anbu will keep an eye on it. Both advisors agreed to a settlement. Shimura Danzo could no longer object. Tsunade. Since everyone agrees, we will formally sign a settlement with San Shinobi. Shizun ran in at this moment. Master Tsunade, it's not good, there's a traitor coming. Who? Uchiha Itachi and a man named Hoshigaki Kisame are rebellious. The two of them came to capture Naruto. Shimura Danzo was stunned. Has the Akatsuki group moved? Tsunade glanced at Shimura Danzo. The old fellow kept many things from himself. Tsunade shouted, where are they now? Has Naruto been captured? No, Kurunai Yuhi and Hitaki Kakashi are fighting against them. Tsunade, let's hurry to help. Naruto is nine tails Jinchuriki, nothing can happen, and it cannot fall into the hands of terrorist organizations. Shizun, go tell Keisuke Sama that the meeting will be held later. Tsunade rushed out of the Hokage building to help. Shizun finds Mu Feng and informs that the meeting will be later. Mu Feng is very strange. What happened? Shizun wanted to hide it at first. Mu Feng bluffed. She did it all. If you don't tell me, you are treating me slowly. Then I will go back now. The responsibility for the war between the two villages rests on you. Shizun almost cried and hurriedly told Mu Feng. I rely on. Uchiha Itachi still didn't give up. Watch me teach him a lesson. Tamari, Yi Gui, you two are waiting for me right here. Mu Feng also followed out. He quickly catches up to Tsunade. Tsunade was jumping over the ridge towards the creek where the fight was taking place. Mu Feng's voice came from above his head. Beauty, do you want to take a ride? Mu Feng is flying above her head. Tsunade said unhappily. No need, what kind of body do you hold? How embarrassing for Tang Tang Hokage to let Case Cage fly around in the sky with his arms in his arms. Mu Feng, if you don't want me to wrap it, you can let me touch it to strengthen your magnetic field, and I can fly with you. It hurts. Tsunade let out a cry. Mu Feng hurriedly climbed up. Attention, please note that this is the center of the village, it is not good to smash flowers and plants and children. Humph. Tsunade snorted heavily and quickened his pace. In order to show the sincerity of the peace talks, let me help you repel the attackers. Mu Feng accelerated and rushed towards the small river at a faster speed. On the small river, Uchiha Itachi is one against two, with ease. Hoshigaki Kisame, with Samahata on his back, stands on the river watching Uchiha Itachi pretend. Sudden, a figure flew from the sky. 
Hoshigaki Kisame looked up and saw Mu Feng flying towards here. Hoshigaki Kisame didn't know Mu Feng and thought he was some ninja from Konoha. Itachi, someone is here. I happen to be warming up too. Uchiha Itachi looked up. He was startled. I rely on. Isn't he fungying? What is he here for? Kisame, you have to be careful. He's case cage. Let's run away quickly. Hoshigaki Kisame thinks that he has the Samahata, the tailed beast, but Mu Feng doesn't care at all. Itachi, what happened to you today? A mere shadow of the wind will scare you. Let me, Hoshigaki Kisame, teach him a lesson. Mu Feng also just landed on the water. Oh, shark face, you've got a lot of energy. Hoshigaki Kisame opened his mouth wide open, revealing his fangs. Case cage, let me show you my power, Hoshigaki Kisame. Thumb. A cloud of water rises from the water behind Mu Feng and turns into the appearance of Hoshigaki Kisame. Water style. Water body. Hoshigaki Kisame stretched out his hands in water. The river surged up and turned into a spherical shape, trapping Mu Feng in it. Water style. Water prison technique. Hoshigaki Kisame doesn't talk nonsense, and his operation is smooth and smooth, perfectly demonstrating his killing talent. Hoshigaki Kisame saw that he was easily tricked by Mu Feng. He grinned and said, Itachi, what fungying you see is nothing more than that. Uchiha Itachi looked at the two of them. He confirmed it. Neither I nor Hoshigaki Kisame were affected by the illusion. Mu Feng was really trapped in a water dungeon by Hoshigaki Kisame. Uchiha Itachi wasn't the least bit happy. What is he trying to do? He stared at Mu Feng warily. Mu Feng himself fell into the hands of Hoshigaki Kisame. He felt nothing personally. He also pointed to the big cloth bag behind Hoshigaki Kisame. Is that Samahata? Hoshigaki Kisame froze. Is this person stupid? I don't want to get out of trouble and I have the leisure to ask this. He said coldly, exactly. Mu Feng seemed to see a novel toy. Can you show it to me? Hoshigaki Kisame walked towards this reckless case cage step by step. His right hand is held on the handle of the Samahata. You want to see? Mu Feng nodded. It's very interesting, and I want to take it back and study it. Hoshigaki Kisame was all happy. Someone actually wanted to take away his beloved ninja tool. It's just looking for death. Hoshigaki Kisame pulls out Samahata. Samahata's outer bandage fell off, revealing the barbed, dark blue blade. Then let me get to know you. Die. Hoshigaki Kisame raised Samahata and smashed it to the head of Mu Feng who was trapped in the water prison. Uchiha Itachi hurriedly shouted, Don't do anything, retreat quickly. Samahata has broken through the water prison and smashed to Mu Feng's head. Mu Feng stretched out his right hand and grabbed Samahata. Hoshigaki Kisame tried to smash down but couldn't. Mu Feng's hands are extremely strong. Blue and white chakra colors glow on the hands. I can't make an inch even if I try my best. HMPH, that's a lot of strength. So what? Samahata devour. Samahata started to shake, constantly absorbing Mu Feng Chakra through the contact. Hoshigaki Kisame. I haven't seen Samahata so excited for a long time, it seems that he likes your chakra taste very much. Mu Feng. Really, if you like it, I'll give you a little more. Mu Feng increases chakra output. Samahata's excited body fully unfolded. A Samahata appeared like a fat salamander. It sticks out its red tongue. Tongue flicking with joy. It thinks Mu Feng Chakra is really delicious. It was the most delicious chakra ever eaten. Hoshigaki Kisame felt normal at first. Samahata is getting bigger and bigger. It is estimated that Mu Feng will be able to be evacuated in a short time. In fact, Samahata is getting bigger and bigger, and Mu Feng's output is also getting bigger and bigger. Mu Feng was still talking to Samahata. Do you want to stay with me? Yes, I need your ability. Talking and talking. He also reached out and stroked Samahata's head with his left hand. Samahata flicked his tongue happily like a pet. Hoshigaki Kisame froze. How is this going? Uchiha Itachi hurriedly reminded. Hoshigaki Kisame run away, before it's too late. Hoshigaki Kisame teased Samahata like a pet when he saw Mu Feng. This warm scene made him feel numb. Go to hell. He lifted Samahata hard and smashed it down with all his strength. The huge force shook the water prison open. Water splash. The river surged. Uchiha Itachi let go of Kakashi and watched the battle intently. 
Samahata had grown to the size of a fat pig. With this knife, Mu Fang will be smashed into a pulp. Hoshigaki Kisame grinned grimly, mouth cleft to ear area, mouth full of fangs shining white light. Go to hell. Something that surprised everyone happened. Samahata didn't hit Mu Fang, but wrapped around Mu Fang gently like a snake. Although there is no expression or voice, but people can see it from its intimate movements. Samahata and Mu Fang are very close. Samahata likes Mu Fang very much. It doesn't want to hurt him. Mu Fang smiled and stroked Samahata. Ha ha, good boy, good boy. Samahata sticks out her long tongue happily like a puppy. Hoshigaki Kisame people are stupid. A smile froze on his face. How is this going? Mu Fang smiled slightly. You see, you are right. It likes it very much, even surpassing you. Hoshigaki Kisame roared. Impossible, absolutely impossible. He can't accept getting along with him day and night, like a partner Samahata will betray himself for a person who has only been in contact for a few minutes. Samahata, come back. Hoshigaki Kisame draws his sword. But he couldn't pull it out. Samahata was resisting him. Impossible, impossible, he roared in his heart. Hands are working hard, but nothing works. With a light pull from Mu Fang, Samahata was released from his grasp. Hoshigaki Kisame was heartbroken. Samahata really betrayed him. Water style water shark bomb. Hoshigaki Kisame hands in mudra. The shark shaped water bomb quickly condensed into shape. The water shark opened its mouth wide and rushed towards Mu Fang. He was going to swallow Mu Fang. Mu Fang stretched out a finger. Did you know that water can conduct electricity? Especially this kind of river water. Sizzle. A thick blue white electric current shot out from the finger. The electric current passed through the body of the water shark and then hit Hoshigaki Kisame first. Hoshigaki Kisame let out a scream and flew backwards. Electric sparks and blue smoke were everywhere on Yun Xiao's uniform in red with a black background. Before he fell into the water, Uchiha Itachi caught him who was stunned. Uchiha Itachi took a deep look at Mu Fang and fled out of the village with Hoshigaki Kisame in his arms. Wait, Uchiha Sasuke came after him from across the bridge. Right in front of Uchiha Itachi. Uchiha Itachi is not polite to this real brother. I'm not interested in you right now. Indifferent expression. The cold tone deeply stimulated Sasuke. Sasuke, I'm going to kill you. Sasuke is no match for Uchiha Itachi at all. He held Hoshigaki Kisame with one hand, and Uchiha Sasuke couldn't get up because he hit with one hand with the other. Uchiha Itachi pinched his neck and twisted. Sasuke murmured in pain. I have been working hard to practice in order to kill you, why? This huge gap in strength made him fall into self-doubt. So far, what have I been doing? Why are you so weak? Uchiha Itachi taunted mercilessly. Because your hatred is not strong enough. You should hate me more. You can be stronger. Hey, Uchiha Itachi, please don't teach bad children. Mu Feng twisted Samahata and came from behind. Be aware that negative emotions can affect your physical and mental health. Uchiha Itachi didn't dare to stay. Put down Uchiha Sasuke and run. Mu Feng crouched beside Sasuke who was lying on the ground. He smiled kindly. Do you want to be strong? Sasuke stared blankly. Then you have to believe in science. Knowledge is power, you know. Young man, do you want to study science with me? Mu Feng held out his left hand. The smile on his face is like that of the strange uncle who abducts children. Sasuke opened his eyes blankly. The blow just now was too big for him. The gap like a moat makes people desperate. Is it okay? Mu Feng, of course. Sasuke raised his hand tremblingly. Mu Feng, what are you doing? Tsunade rushed over. Sasuke also fainted in time. Mu Feng regretfully stood up. I'll help you save someone. I just saw Uchiha Itachi beat him up. Tsunade picked up Sasuke. Come on, let's go to the hospital. Outside the ward door. After hearing the news, Naruto and little Sakura rushed to see the door and Mu Feng hurriedly asked, Uncle, is Sasuke inside? Mu Feng nodded. Well, it's inside, let's go in. Sasuke wakes up after treatment. He saw worried Naruto and little Sakura. There was no expression on his face. Uchiha Itachi's words kept repeating in his mind. Why are you so weak? Because your hatred is not strong enough. He wants to be stronger. Now, 
He made a decision in his heart. He wants to pursue greater power. Tsunade came out of the ward. She said to Mu Fang, Thank you this time. Mu Fang, you're welcome, it's just a small thing. Tsunade pointed to the bandage bag behind his back. What is this? Mu Fang smiled and said, I just got a little catch from fishing. It's called Samahata, my pet. Missed Shinobi's seven ninja swords. How could it let Mu Fang succeed so easily? Tsunade, congratulations, then let's go back and continue the meeting. Okay, let's go. The two walked back to the Hokage building side by side. The meeting resumes. The old man waited for Shimura Danzo's interest and dared not show up. The meeting went surprisingly smoothly. Uchiha Itachi and Hoshigaki Kisume came at just the right time. The high-level Konoha understands. In addition to facing Cloud Shinobi and Rock Shinobi's positive pressure, I also have to face terrorist attacks. It's time to end the pointless conflict with San Shinobi Village. Therefore, Mu Feng's proposal to rent land in lieu of compensation was approved without any objection. Then the first condition is changed to lease 20 mu of land on the west bank of Nanhe River, from Nanhe Bridge to Nanhe Shrine, to San Shinobi Village for a 10-year lease. 10 years of free rent, during which the guards are hired by San Shinobi Village Konoha Village Ninjas. Tsunade read. Shizun was drafting papers on the sidelines. Mu Feng touched Samahata with the pestle in his hand, and added. San Shinobi Village has the right to automatically renew the contract after it expires, and the rental fee will be settled based on the average ground rent in the past five years. Mu Feng intends to occupy this land for a long time. Advisor Yuta Tain Kaharu. Master Case Cage, I'm afraid this is not good. Mu Feng wrote that I was at a disadvantage. What's wrong, we want to build this place into Konoha's future business center, and bring you business prosperity and taxation. We made a big investment and we've got to make it back. Helping you build a piece of wasteland is so good. To be honest, I may not be able to make back my money in 10 years. You do nothing and just sit and collect money. You detain Kaharu, Mitokado Homura were speechless. We didn't ask you to do any construction, commercial center. Now it's as if we are taking advantage of you. Tsunade. Okay, Mu Feng, please stop talking, we agreed. Then Mu Feng and Tsunade signed the settlement document in duplicate under the witness of both parties. Signing is complete. Mu Feng held out his hand. We have peace now. Tsunade reached out to hold his hand. I hope there will be no more wars in the future. Mu Feng affirmed. We San Shinobi will definitely not take the initiative to start a war. As a person who has been deeply influenced by history, he naturally knows that economic colonization is more cost-effective than military conquest. Why go to war when you can easily make money? Tsunade raised his eyebrows, not to be outdone, we Konoha also cherish peace. Mu Feng, I hope you can persevere, and one day you can find me if you need help. Mu Feng is not very optimistic about the future situation of Konoha. As time goes by, Konoha will find that his wealth is getting less and less. Internal conflicts will also intensify. Faced with this situation, the call for war will become louder and louder. Tsunade will be under tremendous pressure then. She may not be able to withstand it. Tsunade, thank you. The two sides walked out of the meeting room side by side to the famous Sky Gallery in the Hokage building. Below the gallery is a message received Konoha Village Ninja, Villager. They stood on the street and on the ridge, eagerly waiting for Erying to arrive. Konkuro and a group of San Shinobi Village prisoners were also among the crowd. In order to show the sincerity of reconciliation, Tsunade freed them. Mu Feng also sent a message to release Nara Luju and the other three. Mu Feng and Tsunade walked side by side to the railing of the gallery and looked down at the crowd below. Behind them is the gigantic Hokage Yanyan. Tsunade announced loudly. I declare that Konoha Village and San Shinobi Village have officially signed a peace agreement, and the war between the two parties is over. There were bursts of cheers from below. Mu Feng took the opportunity to grab Tsunade's left hand with his right hand and raised it up. He shouted, Peace, peace, Tsunade glared at him. Also followed up and shouted. The people below also cheered in unison. Konkuro's eyes searched the crowd. Really, the gloomy Abarame Shino, wearing sunglasses, stood in an obscure corner. Humph, I'll deal with you when I strengthen my puppet later. 
Konkuro was very upset about losing to Aburame Shino and being captured. Aburame Shino also seemed to notice his gaze, and his sunglasses moved slightly. Top brass on both sides are shouting for peace. The following does not necessarily think so. Naturally, a celebration of peace requires a lot of food and drink. At the banquet, Mu Feng directly put the Tsunade together. Mu Feng himself was carried back to the camp by Tamari and Yi Gui. Mu Feng leaned back on the chair and drank a cup of tea. People wake up. He saw Konkuro who was waiting on the sidelines. Oh, Konkuro, it's been a hard time for you. Konkuro looked ashamed. Master K's Cage, I have shamed you for San Shinobi Village. It is a shame that the puppet transformed by Mu Feng was defeated by Konoha Shinobi. Mu Feng waved his hand. A backward technology like puppetry can only bully ordinary people, ordinary ninjas. It's normal that they can't beat other people. Konkuro was embarrassed. It's not good for you to say that, my lord. Mu Feng, we need to address the shortcomings of the puppet technique in order to improve it. When we return to the village, we will start to do this. Mu Feng's eyes lighted up. As long as we find the right direction, puppet art may become one of the strongest ninjutsu. Konkuro's eyes also lit up when he heard that. I trust my lord. By the way, sir, is this your newly developed puppet? Konkuro refers to the bandage bag on Mu Feng's hand that is similar to that on his back. This is not a puppet but Samahata, one of the seven ninja swords. With it, it might make our puppet stronger. Samahata's special ability can absorb the opponent's chakra and inject the absorbed chakra into the user's body. Living people may have a side effect of absorbing xenogenic chakra. If this feature can be loaded on the puppet, then there is no problem. 5 Escape Chakra, then you can use the 5 Escape Engine. Any chakra can be absorbed and utilized. After the transformation, wouldn't it allow the puppet to absorb the enemy chakra while hitting it and inject it into the puppet's body, thus realizing the infinite movement of the puppet? Then the enemy will be sucked dry and die after encountering the San Shinobi Village Puppet. With a puppet that can absorb and inject abilities, the puppet master's carrying capacity will be greatly increased. Anyway, it is only necessary to start chakra initially. Ten machines, a hundred machines, or a thousand machines are fine. What is the concept of a San Shinobi puppeteer bringing a thousand puppets into battle? One person can wipe out a small village. Of course, there are still many problems that need technical solutions. For example, the problem of puppet control, how mechanical puppets can be combined with flesh and blood, how Samahata can breed and reproduce, etc. I believe that as long as we persist in scientific research, we can always find a way to solve the problem. Mu Feng, okay. You should rest well tonight, and someone will take you back to the village tomorrow. Now the village has changed a lot, and you will be shocked when you go back. Konkuro. Then Case Cage Sama are you. I'm also hosting the first San Shinobi merchandise fair, and I'll be back when it's over. All beginnings are hard. I want to preside over the overall situation in Konoha and fire the first shot. Konkuro. May your wishes come true. The next day. Inside the San Shinobi tented camp, Mu Feng received the liaison personnel appointed by Konoha. Hitaki Kakashi. Hitaki Kakashi still looked sluggish. The dark circle under the right eye is a bit heavy. Uchiha Itachi's mental torture left him badly wounded. Mu Feng joked, Kakashi, is Konoha alone? Let you, a wounded person, be in charge of communication. Kakashi said with a smile, I'm just a little depressed. Maybe it will be fine if you invite me to take a bath in the hot spring. Haha, ha, would you like to send you a few copies of Intimate Paradise to help you recover faster? That would be great. After a few small talk, it's time to get down to business. Has the person we need to build the camp found? At the beginning, it was agreed that the construction of the San Shinobi Commercial Center would be built by Konoha. This way Konoha doesn't have to worry about San Shinobi building military facilities inside. It's been found, Kakashi shouted, Yamato comes in. Yamato, who looked honest and honest, walked in. Kakashi introduced to Mu Feng. Yamato is my apprentice and also a master of wood style. It is fast and good for him to build your business center. Yamato smiled honestly. Mu Feng smiled on his face. Heart MMP, Shimura Danzo, you old man, wait, if I can't win, I'll play tricks, right? Send Yamato to build me a wooden house. 
Is it because I am afraid that I will build some steel and diamond buildings, right? It's a pity that you are wasting your efforts in vain. I'm really only going to build a commercial center with no military use. Oh, wood style is really rare. It seems like there's no one else but first Hokage. Yamato, you are really talented. Mu Feng appreciated it greatly. Yamato hurriedly said, Thank you, my lord. Mu Feng. Then Yamato, how do we cooperate with you? Yamato, your excellency, just tell me the required construction pattern and clear out the location. Mu Feng called Tamari. Tamari explained the drawn drawings to Yamato. Initial planning is simple. A five-story building with three facades serves as a commercial building. The second three-story building is used as a staff dormitory. Three large warehouses. After reading it, Yamato estimated his chakra amount. My lord, it will take about seven days. Mu Feng is very satisfied. Then let's begin. Start with the commercial building, we will use it soon. Clear out an area along the river bank. Mu Feng and others looked at Yamato's palms on the ground. Wood style column family skill. Boom, gudong, tree trunks, big and small, meander up from the ground like vines. They grow rapidly and get tangled together. After a change, a three room, five story building facing Nanhekwan grew like this. Clap, clap. Mu Feng led the applause. Yamato, you are amazing. I don't know if you have time to take the task. Yamato looked at Mu Feng. His face was pale and his eyes were glazed. It's like collapsing ten times a night. My lord, why? Mu Feng, I think you are very capable and suitable for greening. I think our San Shinobi village is a little green. How much is your price? I would like to invite you to our San Shinobi village for greening. Underscore. Ask me to plant trees in the desert. Yamato passed out directly. Mu Feng is happy. It scares people. Kakashi lifted Yamato up. Mu Feng, take him to rest first, and I will trouble you later. Kakashi, your excellency, please tell me. Mu Feng greets Tamari. Tamari got the shoguns to start decorating the store. In two days, we will have a trade fair. Tamari, yes, my lord. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.